All right, so wait. And we're underway with toe meeting leather. Jordan Travis will come out and take the reins of this Florida State offense for his own 25-yard line. Head coach Norvell says nobody has improved more from spring to now than this guy on the cusp of cracking that 10,000-yard plateau for career passing at Florida State. And he says, folks, look at the quote. He hasn't even reached his peak yet. He is still trending upwards. First down and 10, Lawrence Toafili in a tailback. Ja'Kai Douglas and Darian Williamson, the receivers. They set up the screen to the tight end. That's Douglas, picks up a first down out to the 42-yard line. Marquiston Douglas moves the chains, Lewis. Good yeah, execution look, on first down. Absolutely. Look, the screen game is a big part of what Florida State likes to do. Very athletic linemen. All of their receivers, their tight ends and backs in particular, that are going to be in focus today. These guys are all good with the ball in their hands after the catch. That's going to be a common theme for this football game. Douglas in motion. They fake the sweep. Tofili picks up about five on the play. Let's go down to Quinn with a lot more on Florida State's injuries. Yeah, you may notice already, Florida State playing without their two most impactful wide receivers. Keon Coleman and Johnny Wilson are in sweats on the sideline and will not play in this game. Coleman, nine touchdowns. It's been a human highlight film this year. And Johnny Wilson at six foot seven. That's about 13 feet of receivers on the sideline. Talent to Jaheim Bell. Making the catch and run, picks up another first down for the Seminoles on the seven-yard gain. Camara with the and, stop. And Mark, the question there with the loss of production is, does that change the way Pitt can defend Florida State? And that's what we'll see. They've already picked up a couple of first downs. On the Panther side of midfield, the handoff. Torfili put it on the ground, recovered by Pittsburgh. Camara got the loose ball. And they are the recipients of the game's first turnover. I want you to keep an eye on David Green, number two, the defensive tackle. He's the one who gets his hand and You see it right there as Toa Feely is trying to spin out of the tackle attempt. This is the exact kind of thing that the Pitt defense needs to create. More and more turnovers, more opportunities for this offense to kind of find its footing. Give Christian Bayer, the quarterback, making just his fourth start, some more snaps so he can get comfortable in this offense. That's a great start if you're a Pitt Panther fan. First down and 10 for Bayer. Trying to bounce back after throwing four interceptions a week ago. Flemister is going to get back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Deloach and Dent making the tackle. There's a look at his stats from October 14th, his first start against Louisville in a very, very impressive win. They won it 38-21. So the question begs which Christian Bayer shows up today. And I think a lot of that, Mark, is going to depend upon how this offensive line plays and how the running game is going, right? You keep him clean, you give him some clean throwing lanes, I think you'll get a good performance. If you don't, it could be a long, long day. Richard sophomore out of the shotgun. Going to hand it off. And nothing doing up front. But Thune making the tackle again on Flemister. It'll be third down and about 10 to go for Pitt. You can see right now, two plays in, two rush attempts by Pittsburgh. Offensive coordinator Frank Signetti trying to establish the line of scrimmage. It's just not going the way they want right now. Now, the key for them is to not get discouraged because you have to stay balanced to a certain degree to make sure that Florida State's defensive line doesn't tee off with their pass rush. And this is what those ends really like. Jared Verse and Patrick Payton. Third down, they pin their ears back and force the incompletion intended for Mumfield. So a quick three and out for Pitt after the turnover. And they'll have to punt it away. Ja'Kai Douglas is back deep. Had a punt return a couple of years ago in 2020, actually. 
And keep in mind that Pitt last week against Notre Dame gave up a punt return touchdown. So special teams wasn't one of their strong points last week as well. This one will carry them all the way down inside the 10, inside the 5. Wow. They are the Seminoles 99 and a half yards away from the end zone after that 53 yard punt. It'll be first and 10 coming back the other way. Field position, field position, field position. It's going to be a big part of this game. You want to make an offense as explosive as Florida State's. Have to go the long way, right? You don't, you don't want them to have short fields. Now, the important thing here for Pitt's defense, don't have the ball thrown over your head. Don't get up, give up any explosives. And if you're Jordan Travis, it's going to be like, hey, man, I got to get us off, off of this goal line. So look for his legs to start playing a bigger part in this game. So versatile. Trey Benson in the backfield after we saw Toll Feely on the opening series. Travis using his legs. Little option, a late pitch. And that might have been past the line of scrimmage. Thus an illegal pass. Let's see what that flag is about. It's complete to Morlock. It's definitely a forward pass, and you have Lyman downfield. Really on the field is an illegal pass on the offense number 13. That play is under further review. So they're going to look at it. Can't move them much further back. They're going to review that play. Jordan Travis, after a slow start last week against Wake Forest, ended up with 359 yards passing. Going 22 of 35. We're going to take a short break and come right back. Doctors. Sprouts has unique, delicious fall goodies that are better for you. Chip or treat? Start with the chips. Brown sugar and cinnamon, sweet potato mm. chip. I love this. I can taste the pumpkin with the cinnamon. These are gonna be the rolled wafers. Give it a try, tell me what you think. Like a mini pie rolled up. But it feels really clean, which is probably my favorite part about it. Natural ingredients, things I can read. These are our old fashioned pumpkin snap cookies. It's not too sugary, I'm something I would give to my daughter. Could you see yourself polishing off a whole bag? I'm already there. <laughs> For all your fall favorites, come on down to your local Sprouts. USAA? Yeah. They have awesome rates on coverage for our car, home, and stuff. She has a lot of stuff. Dad. A lot of cool stuff, honey. But USAA also has banking, credit cards, and loans. Plus advice and other perks. Only for emergencies. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> and it's all in one spot. So we know she's all set because we've got USAA. USAA. More than you might think. For the military community and their families. There's DNA, then there's heavy-duty DNA, HDNA. It's what every GMC Sierra HD driver is born with, and it's engineered into every aspect of the GMC Sierra HD with the pulling power to prove it. The new 2024 GMC Sierra HD. Took the opening kickoff, got to midfield, and then turned it over with a fumble. And Pittsburgh unable to convert in the aftermath of that. Florida State with the football. I'm Mark Jones alongside Lewis Riddick. Quinn Kessinick down in the field. Let's talk about Florida State. They're thinking about 2013, Lewis, the last time they won a national championship. And Jordan Travis, their quarterback, has been everything to them. Yeah, he sure has. Look, he has thrown a touchdown in 20 consecutive games. He's the all-time leader amongst quarterbacks in rushing yards, rushing TDs at Florida State. He can do it all, folks. This guy is lightning in a bottle, and you're going to see him really start to put his stamp on this football game, not just throwing the football, but running it with his legs. He is the ultimate dual threat. Pitt has their work cut out for him. They have him pinned down in here. Let's see if Jordan Travis can get him out of here or whether or not Pitt can hold this good field position that they've created. Call on the field was overturned after the review, so 
It's up to the six yard line second down and five Seminoles. Play clock at 10. Travis hands it off to Trey Benson who had a big week catching the football last week and Quinn the Seminoles are down some important players right. Yeah it's a big deal Keon Coleman and Johnny Wilson the top two uh, most impactful and productive wide receivers for Florida State will not play in this ball game. Coleman represents a monster loss in terms of catches nine touchdowns last week alone he was targeted 11 times and Wilson of course with his height at six foot seven a favorite target of Jordan Travis. Yeah, those two guys leave a cavernous hole in the offense. Travis complete for the first down a 13 yard pickup to Ja'Kai Douglas who hung on to the ball despite taking a hit from Javon McIntyre. You just see the quickness right there of Jordan Travis now he can speed up his release off of that play action fake pit defensive backs you're gonna have to trigger fast against this passing game this quick passing game otherwise you're gonna get a steady dose of that from Jordan Travis. First down and 10 from the 24. Douglas in motion the top of your screen. Now out on the flank blocking this is Benson. The Oregon transfer picks up about four on the play. Benson last week ran the ball for 55 yards on 10 carries and a touchdown. Good numbers and a big afternoon catching the football and their win against Wake Forest. This Seminole team is very balanced. Morlock and Douglas the tight ends. That's Ja'Kai Douglas in motion. Little flea flicker. Travis into coverage. Incomplete. Broken up by A.J. Woods. Intended for Darian Williamson. And it sets up third and six. Real nice job by A.J. Woods. You're going to see him right here going one on one against Williamson. Doesn't bite on. The flea flicker you see there he's not able to get his head back around sometimes you're not when you're not in phase with the wide receiver and plays the eyes and the hands of the wide receiver in there you see what Pitt is going to be trying to do right there you see Brandon George the linebacker putting hits on this quarterback they knocked him out of the game yes. a couple of years ago down in Tallahassee this is a Pat Narduzzi hallmark pressure on the quarterback at all times third and six he delivers for the first down out to the 38 yard line goes right back to Darian Williamson who was able to hang on and you're going to see Williamson right here just run the little slant and you see him catch it in that little zone void Williamson the big target big target 6'3 204 pounds nice catch radius he's going to need to step up they've got a fleet of young wide receivers on this football team it's big that Coleman and Johnny Wilson aren't playing but these young guys they will step up they will deliver somebody's got to get those targets Ophelia in motion. They're going to hand it off to Rodney Hill. Nowhere to go for him. George making the tackle on the play. Brandon George, middle linebacker, fifth year senior out of Reading, PA. One thing you're seeing about Pittsburgh and their second level defenders, their linebackers right now, they are firing downhill, which is something that Pat Narduzzi was demanding of them. They know that shutting down the run game is a big part of them having any chance here this afternoon against this high power Florida State offense. Second and long. They set up the screen. Got a man wide open. That's Hill with the first down. Ran over his defender. Oh, he put his hat down and gave smoke all the way down to 16. Donovan McMillan got eviscerated when Hill put his hat down. A gain of 48 on the play. We talked about the screen game and how it was going to play a big part in the Florida State attack. And you can see Rodney Hill is going to be one on one against McMillan in the open field. You stop your feet on contact, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get run over and you're going to be put on Sports Center highlights. That's exactly what the result of the play was. First and 10, they're going to hand it off to Rodney Hill. And Travis, meanwhile, has gone over 10,000 yards total in his career. I mean, Donovan McMillan is a big safety now. He's 6'2, 210 pounds in his own right. And he's a good he's a good hitter and a good tackler. You've got to bring your feet against high quality backs like Florida State has 
Otherwise, you're just not going to get the result that you want. Yeah, they got a stable of them back there, Lewis. Great point with Benson to Ophelia. Hill we've seen. And right now, they're threatening when we come back. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, banking with Capital One is the easiest decision in the history of decisions. Even easier than this. All right, who's going to deliver the toys to the kids? <coughs> you hoo No. Sarah, you do it. Really? Yeah. You steal the presents one time. I've stolen them no times. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, is it even a decision? That's banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Pictures of Max. Yuck. Like your love, a diamond that never stops. I always love this time of year. Unstoppable love, exclusively at K. He hits his mark center stage and is crushed by a baby grand piano. You're replacing me? Customize and save with Liberty Biberty. He doesn't even have a mustache. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. We come from people we can be proud of. Seeing all the places I come from, I know. If it's a Serrano, it's something to be proud of. Give the gift of family heritage with ancestry. Ultimate Endless Shrimp is here with a limited time flavor drop. New Crispy Dragon Shrimp. One of seven endless choices. Right now, only at Red Lobster. Welcome to Fun Dining. It's nothing. Sounds like something. When you have nausea, heartburn, indigestion, unsystemic diarrhea. Pepto-Bismol coats and soothes for fast relief when you need it most. The holidays are at the Home Depot, and our aisles are decked with savings, so you can deck it all. The halls, the yard, and even deck the deck. All while stuffing a little more joy into your stockings, now at the Home Depot. Lunch? Yes, please. That'll be $23. Your ad says it's free. It is for our economy ultimate passengers who paid extra. I'll just have water. Okay, cash or card. For water? Well, at AT&T, when we offer you our best iPhone deals, we guarantee it. Even on the new iPhone 15 Pro. Check it out. Made with titanium. We do have free movies. With the purchase of headphones. I'll just use my iPhone. Only AT&T gives everyone our best deals on any iPhone with any popular plan. Guaranteed. Get iPhone 15 Pro on us. ESPN College Football is delivered by Papa John's. Pizza gets bigger when you shakaroni. Only at Papa John's. And in part by Liberty Mutual. Only pay for what you need. Folks, look at five on the field. Huh? Five on the field leading the blocking for Craig Hayward. That's a long Lewis, time. Lewis, you never told us you bro, were a tailback. That's a long time ago. Come on, bro. Tra Travis Hunter, yeah, I was dual. I, I, was, I was a two-way player. <laughs> no, man, that, those were good times, though, back in 87. Notre Dame came in here ranked fourth in the country, just like Florida State is now. Pitt has been giant killers in the past. They're up against it today, but it can be done. On defense right now, first and 10. They set up another screen, Bell. And the screen game, an early prevailing storyline here for Florida State. Yeah, I mean, screens against teams that are high pressure teams are something that offensive coordinators do all the time. They're called slowdown plays. Because now what it does, it makes you one not to start call, not to call pressures, meaning sending five or more, and it makes your defensive line slow down because they're a big part of defending the screen game. So it's a way to calm all of that down, and Mike Norvell is executing it to a T. 11th play of the drive coming up. Used up almost five and a half minutes of possession. On the sweep, Tolfili, he put it on the ground last time, hangs on to it this time but it's tackled by McIntyre. Fourth down coming up. And let's see what the decision is gonna be for Mike Norvell, dictated a lot by analytics these days. This is one of the best teams in the red zone in college football. First in the ACC, 11th overall in terms of TD percentage once they get down in here. ESPN analytics say go. On fourth and four or less. Then I'm trying to get the ball to Trey Benson. I'm getting it to my back. We're getting Jordan Travis on the edge. Here's Benson up the middle. He's going to be short. Pitt will take over on downs. 
Brandon George with the stop. That defense fired up. Linebacker play mark is setting the tone for this defense right now. Brandon George, number 30. He's been playing downhill all day. That's one of the best plays he's had all year long. First and 10 pit offense. Nissan has a car for everyone. Every driver who wants more. More turbo. More freedom. More electric. At Nissan, more is all we do. Stars Blue Jackets, Oilers Sharks on ESPN+. Plus. Popeye's new sweet and spicy wings don't make sense. Marinated and tossed in a blend of chili, garlic, and ginger, as sweet as they are spicy. Speaking of flavor, order a Cajun-style turkey at your local Popeye's this holiday season. On a cursed Fansville by Dr. Pepper. See ya. Caleb Williams, you gotta get out of here. Fansville is cursed. No, Fansville's not cursed. I swear on Dr. Pepper, it's real. I'm not superstitious. I'm number 13. 13? No! And I'm on the cover of this magazine and this video game. The cover no! I'm literally walking under three ladders as we speak. <laughs> Ladder Emporium, no! I even have a black cat. Get out, boy! Get out! That was weird. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. It's game time, and we're making a Twisted Tea drop. Twisted Tea fans love football and the refreshing taste of Twisted Tea hard iced tea. Real brewed tea and a 5% kick of alcohol. Twisted Tea Hard Ice Tea. Keep it twisted. Some people just know what road to take. Those are the people who know to choose Allstate. The service road is faster. Turn left. Not happening. He knows better than any GPS, and he'd point you in Allstate's direction. Go all the way down the road, past the big gray warehouse. Take the next exit. You're not from around here, so you don't know the back roads. I don't want to be late for the party. I'm going to save us five minutes. Some people just know what road to take. You're on the fastest route. Those are the people who know safe drivers save 40% with Allstate. Condado Tacos, where there's enough yum for everyone. Making tacos full of fresh, clean ingredients. We've got the awards to prove it. So grab your buds and let's crave together. Condado. Energizer Ultimate Lithium the number one longest-lasting AA battery. Get NFL Sunny Ticket to watch out-of-market Sunny games. Plus, stream up to four pre-selected NFL games live at the same time with Multiview. YouTube TV. Terms apply. Watching Statement Saturday, presented by Eckridge. Welcome back, everyone, to Pittsburgh. Panthers getting a stop on fourth down to take over first and ten from their own seven-yard line. There, out of the end zone, completes it for the first down to his tight end, Gavin Bartholomew, who they've been trying to integrate even more. They can't get him the ball enough, Lewis. You've got 16. No, they definitely got to get it to him. You're looking at the do's and don'ts here. Florida State exposed the, exposed the holes in Pitt's coverage. They've done that a little bit. And don't let Christian Veyer gain confidence. Well, with a throw like that, he's going to gain some confidence. For Pittsburgh, attack the edges offensively, running, running the football against these pass-rushing defensive ends, and don't get bullied defensively. Well, I'd say so far, they've acquitted themselves well. A lot of ball game left. Handed off on first down. Flemister going to be stopped up at the line of scrimmage by Lovett and Jared Verse. Here's a look at the story of the offense for Pitt last week against Notre Dame. They were languid and listless, and that's being nice. Zero snaps in the red zone. That has to be rectified this afternoon. Mark, they got to get the ball on the edges running the football. Inside, the offensive guards right now for Pittsburgh are getting chewed up. 
by the defensive tackles for Florida State. Farmer, Daniel Lyons, Braden Fist. These guys are studs. They got to get on the edges. They are with time from that offensive line. Incomplete. Intended for Mumfield. And it's going to be third and ten coming up. It's interesting. You talked about the offensive line, Lewis. They've got two freshmen starting on the right side of the offensive line and their six-year senior and redshirt junior, another senior, pardon me, starting on that left side. Yeah, they're going to be a left-hand dominated run team, or they should be, especially when they're trying to get out here on the edges. The strength of this team is the wide receivers. They've got playmakers. They've got to get it to zero. Bub means got to get it to Mumfield, number nine. They pass through the hands of his receiver, Bartholomew, again. And it'll be fourth and ten. So after that first down, they go three and out on the next series. Veyer had, he had Bartholomew open. Just got to get the ball down a little bit and put it on him. But if you know anything about Christian Veyer, he will not be shaken by this shaky start. He's someone who has a great sense about him, has a lot of confidence. Came after the punter, Caleb Junko, who got off a great punt last time, pinned them inside the one yard line. And Caleb Junko actually coming up hobbling after that punt. The dribbles all the way down to about the 22 yard line. A 54 yard effort when we come back. Jordan Travis, pardon me, we're going to stay right here. Yeah, we're going to take a look here at Jordan Travis and what makes him so special here. It's just about field vision, about manipulating coverage with his eyes so he can hit that seam ball down the left sideline. And then his courage under fire. You won't shake this guy. You want to pressure him, you want to hit him, you want to get defenders in his face. He will still layer that ball second and third level with tremendous touch. He doesn't have to step into his throws. He can speed up his release at any time. And I'm just telling you, folks, when he decides to run, whether it's by design or by necessity, he can break a game wide open. Douglas in motion. Travis hands it off to his tailback, Trey Benson, the Oregon transfer. Wow, some interminable effort. Kept those legs churning and picked up a first down for about 13. You see, it's just a weak side counter play. You're going to see Trey Benson at 220 plus pounds. He's got great feet, great center of gravity. You better bring your feet, you better wrap him up, or yardage after contact is going to add up quickly. And 223 pounds. Great comeback story after tearing up his knee a couple of seasons ago. Here's a design quarterback run. Travis out to the 41. McMillan making the stop. Back to the studio. Matt Berry, what's good? Gentlemen, good afternoon. I want to keep you updated on something going on in Athens early on. Brady Cook to Luther Burden the third and Missouri up early on Georgia 7-3. Luther. Good to see him back. Second and six. Douglas in motion again. Travis downfield. Almost intercepted at the 42-yard line by McIntyre, who wishes he had another opportunity at that. He tried to find Travis did Hill. And it'll be third and six. This defense is flying around, Lewis. Yeah, you can see right here, McIntyre, the safety. You're going to see it right here in this quarter's coverage. These two safeties dropping out. Watch him clue. This wheel route with great vision. You can see the wheel route coming right here. He has great vision on Jordan Travis. You just got to go up and make that play. That's got to be a second turnover for Pitt's yeah. defense. You read it perfectly. Just finish the play. Third and six. Travis gets rid of it downfield. Overthrown. And fourth down coming up and tested for Destin Hill again. Covered closely by Philip O'Brien Jr. And the Seminoles will have to punt. And what you got to like is Pitt's pressure right here. Dayon Hayes coming off the left side, rushing against Jeremiah Byers, the right tackle, getting the hand up in Jordan Travis's face. Look, without these two playmakers on the edge and Keon Coleman and Johnny Wilson, this, this offense is looking a little different. They're trying to find their footing right now as far as where the big play is going to come from. Alex Mastromano, the Australian, coming into punt, averaging almost 47 yards per punt this year. Line drive, end over end punt will 
We'll see where they spot him. The official is going to confer. See if they. It looked like they went over. Touchback. Yeah. yeah. 59 yards. It'll be first and 10 for Pitt. You see the ball. From the side, it's there. It's up in the air. The official's right there on the line. You can see it from the opposite angle. You see the ball bouncing. It never hits in the end zone. Never touches there. It's in the air. Throw it back into. Oh, does that ball touch the goal line right there? From the twenty, they do a little wildcat. Direct snap to Hammond Jr. Ball came loose, it looked like. Wow. Rodney Hammond Jr. took the direct snap. It'll be second down. It'll end up picking up about two yards on the play. Not the way they drew this one up. This is a big time hit by linebacker Kalen Deloach, the leader on their defense. You see it right there. He stands him straight up. Rodney not able to secure that football you got to be careful now when you're down here in your own territory these linebackers can fly around Deloach and Bethune they get after it as well as anyone you saw a glimpse of it right there they are under center here on second and seven the play action gets it out they're gonna rule it second and on second and incomplete Pat Marduzzi said that we could have the biggest win in college football this week. He was speaking confidence, imbuing his team with confidence during the course of the week. Not like they haven't done it before. And keep in mind that Pitt, over the last couple of years, is 8 and 0 in the month of November. That's Mumfield. Delay of game, offense, it's a five yard penalty, third down. Christian Veyer making just his fourth start. He started the Louisville game, won that, lost at Wake Forest. And then last week's disaster at Notre Dame, they lost 58 to seven. But if you're Christian Veyer right now, you have to just be saying to yourself, look, take what the defense gives you. You saw in that boot pass he had, the wide receiver Kenny Johnson out in the flat for what could have been a catch and run situation. Just distribute the football. Had it batted down to the line of scrimmage that time. And it'll be fourth down and 12. Patrick Payton waving and wagging his finger. And you're just going to see, there's Patrick Payton right here. You're going to see them just get in the pass lane. You see Payton is tall. He got long arms, long reach. Can't get to the quarterback. All defensive linemen are taught. Just get your hands up disrupt the throwing window and it's probably a good thing that he did knock that down he was trying to get the ball to Bartholomew down the middle of the field and he was double covered that may have ended up in a pick Junko into punt again he's punted for 53 and 55 yards today so far this one's returnable but it takes an auspicious bounce for Pitt down to the 34 of the Seminoles it'll be first and 10 from there after the 48 yard punt you're watching ESPN College Football delivered by Papa John's. Folks, this is the ACC on ESPN. Lewis, coaches like to say they remember November. For Florida State, what does the month of November mean for them coming in ranked fourth? Look, I, I think it's about winning and winning a certain way, Mark. I think they are going to go for style points today if they can. I think that's important for the rest of the way. It's all about how people perceive you to be playing relative to the competition that you're going up against. People expect them to win this game and win it handily. 0-0 here, almost near the end of the first quarter. Nice cut by Trey Benson. Stays on his feet and picks up about six yards. Quinn? I think without Keon Coleman, without Johnny Wilson, this, this game is a little less about style points and a little more about survival. Mm. 
Uh, <laughs> it, it, there's a potential look ahead here. They got Miami at home next week, dealing with the two wide receiver injuries. Uh, you know, th this is a danger, danger game for Mike Norvell and the Seminoles. Second down and four, Douglas in motion. They're gonna keep it on the ground again. Benson, close to a first down. Let's see where they spot it. Can't win it all at once. Fourth and two, Seminole's gonna punt. Alex Mastromano. Rolls to his right, nose of the football down. And Devonshire calls a fair catch back at the 18 yard line. It'll be first and 10 after the 40 yard punt from there. Well, tonight we'll have the Pac-12 game of the night. Michael Penix Jr., number five, Washington, at the Coliseum in Los Angeles, squaring off against Caleb Williams, the reigning Heisman Trophy winner, and number 20, USC. Coverage begins at 7.30 Eastern on ABC and the ESPN app. Man, a couple of talented, prolific quarterbacks in, in that game. Rodney Hammond in the backfield on first and 10. Bayer with no one to throw it to. The ball came out of his hand. Good pursuit by Kevin Knowles. That was a funky looking play, partner. Yeah, I mean, he was trying to get the spot here in the quick game. And Florida State had it covered, and then you see right on the field is a forward pass Kevin Knowles. The second down. Called a forward pass on the field. I don't know if that was a forward pass. But nevertheless, they had everything trying to get the ball out of his hands quick on the quick game to the short side of the field. Florida State sniffed it out perfectly. They are one for seven so far. Total of 17 yards. Taking a shot deep. Got a man in the post. Kurt Mumfield on the move. They spotted. No touchdown signal yet. Still a conversation. Still waiting. And they're going to mark it. Eventually, the ball came out. Here's the call. Ruin on the field is a fumble recovered by the defense in the end zone. That plays under further review. Wow. A cataclysmic, calamitous ending to the end of that run by Mumfield. The ball came out. His back was to us. We couldn't see all of what transpired right there from this wonderful reverse angle and then recovered in the end zone by Cypress. I mean, what a fantastic play call. Let's just start from there. Against quarters coverage on a double move to Mumfield. Clearly came out, Lewis. And then, yeah, yeah. then you see the corner, Fentrell Cypress. Defensive backs are taught all the time. It's not over until it's over. You chase it down and watch his right arm. Right there, he slides it down. Mumfield doesn't secure the football. And before his knee touches the ground, before any body part touches the ground, that ball is out. You see it right there. Yeah, it's clearly a fumble. That's a fantastic. And the call on the field was a fumble by Mumfield. Balls out. And recovered by the defense, Florida State, in the end zone. Some of the fans obviously indicating that the officials may have missed a face mask. He comes from out of bounds. After further review, oh, the ruling on the field stands. It's a touchback. Wow. Unbelievable. That's right. That will leave your jaw agape. And your head coach fuming on the sidelines. That is just a gut punch of a play and a result. Unbelievable. Great play call. Christian Veyer standing in the pocket, delivering a strike. Had to hit that, and he did. I mean, it was, that's as good as you can get. So after the fumble, it'll be first and 10. 
That 81 yard completion by Vayer, a career long. He'd rather have the touchdown. Travis taking a shot after the turnover. Incomplete and a flag going to be called. Pass intended for Ja'Kai Douglas. Marquise Marquez Williams, the defender. I'll call P.I. here. Look, you're going to see him right here. You'll see it. You see the left hand. He's going to he's going to hook Ja'Kai with that left arm. And if you're materially affecting his ability to get down the field, they're going to call that flag. I mean, that that's an easy call. I mean, I that's understand interference. That. Defense number 14. Fans are upset. I get yeah. it, man. I get it. They just saw potentially a touchdown that would have put yeah. them ahead in this football game called back. You look at the numbers in this game, and outside of that one 81-yard play, Pittsburgh hadn't put many numbers up. It feels like Florida State should be winning at least 10 to nothing by now, but it's still time. Bell in motion, the tight end. Travis hits him, and he's met immediately at the 28-yard line by Camaro. Let's go back to the studio. Guys, wild stuff there. Checking in on Bedlam, which is always crazy. Tied at seven apiece. Alan Bowman keeps it. Pokes up 14-7 in the second. Wow, indeed. Last Bedlam. Second and 12 coming up. Right now, you see Florida State just not able to get anything going on the perimeter. And Pitt just keeping the pressure up as far as firing these linebackers in the A and B gaps, trying to make Jordan Travis make quick decisions as much as possible. Trey Benson in the backfield. Travis, there's another screen complete to the tight end, Morlock. And he's going to be stopped up a couple of yards shy of the first down. Coach Narduzzi talked about slowing down the screen game. How do you do that? Well, one of the things, it's really, it's about recognition. It's about for the defensive linemen, once they understand that they're getting a screen pass set, they got to turn and run okay. and chase things down inside out. Defenders got to play with vision. And when you've got an opportunity to get guys on the ground in the open field, you got to make the tackles. Three receivers to the bottom of your screen. A little bunch formation. Travis had it blocked at the line of scrimmage. Knocked down by Shane Simon, the transfer from Notre Dame, who said when he was dissecting the tape, a lot of things came to life. They'd be better this week, and they have been. You're going to see him right here. You're going to see Shane Simon. Again, these linebackers just firing in the A and B gaps. Get the hand up. You're not going to get there. Just get the hand up. And just crowd the throwing lane. This is as spirited a game, as spirited a start to the game defensively for Pitt as they've had all year long. They are playing downhill, playing with passion, playing with physicality. And right now, without their wide receivers on the edge, without Keon Coleman, without Johnny Wilson, Jordan Travis is having to attack in a much different way. This right. offense becomes much more constricted. And you're seeing right now, it's playing right into the hands of what Pitt likes to do. Meanwhile, partner Solomon DeShields, right there, number 23, their star linebacker, star is in position linebacker, limping off the field. He was knocked out of the Wake Forest game on the first play a couple of weeks ago. You mentioned how well their linebackers have been playing so far. Big key in being able to keep this Florida State prolific offense in check. Fourth and three coming up. Alex Mastromano going to punt. For the Seminoles, his third of the afternoon. End over end punt, fair catch called at the 17 yard line by Devonshire. It'll be first and 10 from there after the 44 yard punt. Bayer on the sticks when we come back. Bro, I told you I was wearing the gold leather. You know I just got this. That's exactly why I told you I was wearing mine. There's no way you told me. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. We can check the replay. Do it. 
This What Really Happened replay is brought to you by Progressive. One thing no one would challenge, saving money when you bundle home and auto with Progressive. Should I take the hat off? Take the hat off, the shoes, everything, man. We look stupid. Let me show you what goes on behind the scenes when making a shakaroni. Bust We created shakaroni my way. An extra large pizza topped with extra cheese and extra pepperoni. It's a simple recipe. We take everything you love, then we build it bigger. Pizza gets bigger when you shakaroni. I'm the strongest Sanders in the family. The whole family. Boy, you want to see strong? That is strong. Mm. If Ronald Reagan were here right now, he would say, what in the hell have you guys done to my great country? Crime is rampant and goes unpunished. Our border is wide open. Our debt is 32 trillion and climbing. Inflation is growing faster than our wages. There's a land war in Europe. We pulled out of Afghanistan like a bunch of cowards. We don't know what a woman is. The government pays people not to work. The game is now rigged against hardworking Americans. We are losing our country. It's time to cowboy up and fight like hell to turn this country around. I'm Rick Scott. I approve this message. Scan it quick. Is that me? Jumpstart the holidays on the Chewy app. With new deals dropping daily, you can get toys, treats, and e-gift cards. Plus, with fast and free delivery, they can get all their favorites just in time for the furry and festive celebrations. For daily holiday deals, download the app. Student loan debt holds you back. Refi at SoFi.com. You could save thousands and get to your goals faster. SoFi, get your money right. Welcome back, everyone. Aerial coverage provided by Goodyear. Celebrating the challenge of road games everywhere. Are you ready for the road? Goodyear. More driven. We're in Pittsburgh at the confluence of the, that's the Allegheny and the Monongahela River. Right at the confluence. They meet to form the Ohio River. Some of us paid attention in geography class. Bayer taking a shot incomplete. Tried to hit Mumfield. How much confidence do you think that one throw gave him? Oh, it, it, it'll give him plenty right now because he knows that he can throw the football in rhythm. He can put it down the field on the money. Now it's, it's going to be about the decision making in the short and intermediate passing game, especially in high traffic areas. Make good decisions. Keep the ball down. Don't have it floating on you. Don't try doing too much. Take the easy gains. Let the receivers catch and run. That's all a big part of it. Let's see if he can build off of it. Second we'll, down and ten. I will say this. Offensive line holding up so far in pass protection. He steps up there. Looks like he was trying to throw it away, but we might add a highlight catch on the sidelines by Reynolds. Dejon Reynolds picks up 16 with the catch. The man they call Day Day. You see him right here just tracking the ball. Left foot on the. It's still touching. He's in. He keeps it in. That's as good as you'll see, folks. That's as good as you'll see. That's his tremendous wow. sideline instincts. Great hands. Never gave up on him. But this wide receiver core for Pitt with Means, Kenny Johnson, Day Day. In Mumfield, it's a very good group. Bayer hands it off to Daniel Carter, his first carry of the game, and a nice game for about six yards. You see Carter, Flemister, Hammond Jr. Second down and four. You can see what offensive coordinator Frank Zignetti is thinking by giving Daniel Carter a run. He's 230 pounds. Get that ball between the tackles. See if you can get some physicality established up front. Hey, 
there. Threw it away. Bartholomew was covered. It'll be third down and four. Good pressure up front by Byron Turner for the Seminoles. Very an interesting story. A native of Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. That's about five hours east on the north shore of Lake Ontario, east of Toronto. Went to an academy in the Buffalo area as a young teen. Was coached by Victor Tadondo. And then went to high school in the Maryland area where he started getting looks. And then ultimately ended up signing with Penn State out of high school. Little pressure coming. They almost got to him. And it's incomplete. Bartholomew couldn't hang on to it. He was hit immediately. And it's fourth and four, Lewis. This is a nice play by linebacker DJ Lundy. On the pressure, you're going to see Lundy coming right here, and you're going to see him get out here to Bartholomew and just get there just in the nick of time. That's a good job by Bayer getting the ball out of his hands as he's getting pressured by Bethune. Staying alive. What a nice play by DJ Lundy. All three of these linebackers, Caitlin Deloach, Lundy, number 10, Bethune, they've shown up so far today for Florida State's defense. Fair catch called back at the 18-yard line by Douglas. The Seminoles in control when we come back. You can feel it. A force that moves everything around it. With intensity and power that comes from deep down inside. Full-time fans, your passion is unshakable, and you deserve a reward. Medela, the mark of a fighter. The neighborhood. It's where life comes alive, art thrives, and where those who are looking to be moved stay. Which is why it's always where you'll find a Hotel Indigo. From the streets of Tokyo to the sights of Dubai. So don't just visit a place. Dive into it. Get caught up in it. Then find calm in it. Hotel Indigo, the world's neighborhood hotel. A part of IHG Hotels and Resorts. Sunday ticket on YouTube, you can watch your favorite teams out of market Sunday games. So no matter where you live, it'll feel a little more like home. At least on Sundays. NFL Sunday ticket. Get the mid-season price. When the Murrays discovered Gain Scent Beats, they fell in love with the irresistible scent. <laughs> so did their dog Roger. Gain Scent Beats keep even the stinkiest stuff smelling fresh. Google Pixel 8 free at T-Mobile. Logistics make the pit playing experience unique. You've got campus, which is an urban campus in downtown Pittsburgh. A mile and a half south is this facility that they share with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pro and college side by side. They play their games in the iconic stadium that sits near the confluence. And that segues into our AFLAC trivia question today. Who are the five FBS programs who Aflac. play their home games in NFL venues? Mm. Five college teams okay. whose Miami. home stadiums they share with NFL teams. There you go. I live 15 minutes from the stadium. I got to get that one. <laughs> South Florida? Two for two. Let me call this play. Get back to you, too. First and ten. Benson in the backfield. Travis keeps it. Going to pick up a yard 
Brought down by Donovan McMillan. The pressure, the relentless pressure of a Pat Narduzzi defense sending five or more play after play after play and saying, look, we're going to build a wall up front. If your wide receiver core without your two big home run hitters can beat us on the outside, then so be it. But we can't let you establish the run game against us. Second and nine. Travis taking a shot. Incomplete at the 45-yard line. No flag on the play. Devonshire broke it up. It was intended for Hill. That's the kind of play that you need from Devin, for MJ Devonshire. And this is where you miss Johnny Wilson. This is where you miss Keon Coleman. Those guys can usually elevate over guys who are 5'11", 6 foot. And here you see Devonshire win because he gets the highest at the point of attack, wins that jump ball situation. Those are the kind of plays pit defense is going to need all afternoon. Third and nine. Travis incomplete. And this is as disjointed, as disconcerted as we've seen Florida State maybe at any point this year. That's their third three and out already in the ballgame. Look right now, you can tell Jordan Travis isn't really on the same page as his wide receiver right. core. The pressure is starting to get to him a little bit. The wide receivers right now haven't been able to win one-on-one -on -one and get Pitt's defensive backs credit. They're playing good tight coverage, challenging at the catch point. Look, I mean, as, as deep and as talented as Florida State is, there's just no way you are not going to feel the effects of not having Keon Coleman and Johnny Wilson. There's just no way you can get around it. Ostromano, they came after it a little bit, but he gets it off cleanly all the way down to the 36-yard line where Devonshire makes the fair catch on the 44-yard punt. Let's get back to our Aflac trivia question. Aflac. Question was, who are the five FBS teams that play their home games in the NFL stadium? Okay, I got South Florida, Pitt here, University of Miami at Hard Rock. I'm trying to think Vandy, of the others. Philly, Vanderbilt. Philly, Philly. Temple? Temple, bing, 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 out west, Las Vegas. Oh, okay. UNLV plays out oh, at Allegiant. That's what I was told okay. today. Yeah, that was really? the one I didn't know. So I didn't know Temple, they played at Allegiant either. South Florida, Miami, UNLV, and Pitt. So what makes Pitt's situation unique, Lewis? They share the practice facility with, with the Steelers, which uh, the players seem to love. Yeah, and then there's some word that, you know, maybe Pittsburgh at some point in time, the Steelers, that is, builds their own facility, and Pitt takes over that entire building. Mm. Nice gain by Rodney Hammond Jr. About five yards. You know, we went by the practice facility, which is adjacent to the Steelers. And I'll tell you what, when guys like Hammond Jr. and other players see the G-Ride, see the Bugatti, see the Lambo, that'll make you stay in the weight room an extra half it, it hour. It sure right? does. And look, and Shane Simon talked about that. And there you see the Cathedral of Learning, one of the most beautiful buildings on any campus anywhere in the world. And what Pitt really symbol symbolizes what Pitt is all about. Gaping hole up the middle and a nice run. A sprint by Hammond for the first down. That offensive line is one of the stories of the game so far. Well, you can just see right now, they're getting some double teams there at the point of attack. And you can see Hammond just running with authority, getting downhill quickly. The play previous, they were able to capture the edge, able to get Patrick Payton, number 11, the defensive end, knocked off the ball and this is something that Frank Signetti said he needed to do and that the offensive line needed to accept the challenge and so far on this drive first and ten they're doing just that Bayer off the play fake delivers got a man caught at the 18 means but we have a flag down back near the line of scrimmage at the 41 personal foul Lily use of hands to the face defense number 11. The pressure force after this to the goal. First down. Looks like it was Patrick Payton that hit Gavin Bartholomew. 29 yard gain, first down for Pitt. You can see Patrick Payton right here at the bottom of your screen against Bartholomew. Watch the right hand as it starts to get up right there. It's on the face mask. And Bub Means just runs a nice route here. And again, this guy is 6'2", 215 pounds. You know he's going to go up and take the ball out of the air. Strong hands. 
this downfield passing game for Pittsburgh. We talked about it. The wide receivers are the strength of this offense, and right now they're showing up. They've got some good size ones, too. There's the jump ball to prove it. Burns! Touchdown! Bob Means! The six foot two inch Bob Means went up and took it away from Bernardo Green. He had a mouse in the house. It's his fourth touchdown catch this season, the eighth of his career. And for quarterback Christian Veyer, his sixth touchdown pass of the season, and another confidence builder partner. They lead seven to nothing. Look, and they went after Florida State's best defensive back. Renardo Green was a semifinalist for the Jim Thorpe Award awarded to the It don't really make no difference to me. I operate the same no matter. Right now, get a free foot long at Subway. Like the new Deli Heroes. Buy one foot long in the app, get one free. It's a pretty big deal. Kinda like me. Order in the Subway app today. So beautiful. Morning, Rob. Looking great. Does that say USAA? Yeah, USAA. Amazing home, auto, and life insurance. Plus banking and credit cards. I'm in because of my dad. You think that'll finally get you in? Probably not, but it looks great. USAA, for the military community and their families. Perfection. Man, I hate Dustin. Then get you some Easy Does It Dust Spray. Now and find some. Who are you talking to? These guys seem really good at endorsing. I don't know if I'm at that level yet. Level up with a 2023 Nissan Rogue. Go Rogue in a Nissan Rogue. Come on, you got this. Joe's Ice Tea of UCLA. Quench your thirst. The brew. I can't. Yeah, that's fair. Anyone who's ever sold a home will tell you it's really hard. And it's one of the biggest financial decisions you'll ever make. That's why who you work with matters. Together with Home Life. Super Beats by Human. The only number one doctor, pharmacist, and cardiologist recommended beat brand for Plus a free month of our new memory and focus capsules on all bundles. Only at superbeats.com. UFC 295. Buy it on ESPNPlus.com slash PPV. Welcome back, everyone, to Pittsburgh. And the block is hot. <laughs> Pitt up 7 to nothing. It'll be first and 10 Seminoles from their own 25. Hey, this season, for every field goal, an extra point made by participating universities, Allstate will make a contribution to the university's general scholarship fund. Thank you, Allstate. Florida State first and 10, and boy, if not for that fumble by Pittsburgh after that 81-yard pass and catch and run, could have been 14 to nothing. Sure could. I'm sure there'll be some second guessing of Mike Norvell for not taking the points when he was deep in the red area as well. Jordan Travis, meanwhile, just two of his last seven passing. Going to keep it on a design quarterback run, makes it out to the 30-yard line. Picks up five on the play, Solomon DeShields, who's back in the ballgame. We saw him shaken up a little bit earlier, made the tackle. Do you think there's any question that Jordan Travis has to put his imprint on this game? by any means necessary. Trey Benson has to put his imprint on this game in order to get this offense on track. Douglas in motion. Gonna hand it off to Benson, trying to get to the edge. Stayed on his feet. 
and ran out of bounds right near that first down marker. It appears as if he got enough to move the chains. Trey Benson, an amazing comeback story. A couple of years ago, while at Oregon, blew out his ACL, his LCL, his MCL, and every other CL. Some thought he'd never play again. He told me that people laughed when Florida State took him out of the portal. And here he is, a very prolific member of the football squad. On the screen to the tight end, Douglas, who's chopped down immediately, just shy of the 40-yard line. It'll be about a 40-yard gain. Donovan McMillan making the tackle. This is a great job by Donovan McMillan. When you're talking about recognizing the screen, we talked about how do you slow him down. A lot of times it's just about recognition. It's just about vision. And you see Donovan McMillan right there. He had his eyes on the tight end, Douglas, the entire time. Played with discipline, got him down on the ground. That's how you stop screens. It's about football intelligence and play recognition. Toe Feely in the backfield. Millen had a good week of practice. Tough, big, fast, big hitter. They come right up the middle on Travis, and he beat them, found the hot guy. Ja'Kai Douglas for the first down, picked up 10 Lewis. Yeah, I mean, you see right there, Shane Simon just coming up the gut again, and they will vacate some zones in the back end in the name of trying to get pressure. They're thinking, I can hit your quarterback before you can find the zone hole. That time, Travis won the battle down the sidelines. Incomplete intended for Douglas. Good defense by A.J. Woods. This is a different Pittsburgh defense from last week against Notre Dame. It's incredibly different. Their confidence right now, Mark, is through the roof, and we all know what confidence can do to yes. our performances. A player shaking up down on the field for Pittsburgh. We'll get the report on the other side. People are talking? Yeah, and they're impressed. Critics rave Next Go Wings is a triumphant crowd pleaser. It's heartfelt and hilarious. Look at this place. We've got a keyboard, a mouse, and no screen. None of this makes any sense. It's the perfect underdog movie. They're weak. They are not weak. Don't miss Taika Waititi's best film yet. We've worked too long and hard for this. You're running. I'm Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I was diagnosed with AFib. The first inkling that something was wrong was I started to notice that I couldn't uh, do things without losing my breath. I couldn't make it to the airport. Every like 20 or 30 yards, I had to sit down and get my breath. Every physical exertion seemed to exhaust me. And finally, I went to the hospital where I was diagnosed with AFib. When I first noticed symptoms, which kept coming and going, I should have gone to the doctor and told him what was happening. Instead, I tried to let it pass. If you experience irregular heartbeat, heart racing, chest pain, shortness of breath, fatigue, or lightheadedness, you should talk to your doctor. AFib increases the risk of stroke about five times. I want my experience to help others understand the symptoms of atrial fibrillation. When it comes to your health, this is no time to wait. To give your teeth a dentist clean feeling, start with a round brush head, add power, and you've got Oral-B. Round cleans better by surrounding each tooth to remove 100% more plaque for a superior clean. Oral-B, brush like a pro. I get to love Some people just know there's a podcast about that. Those are the people who know to choose Allstate. Big tea drinker. Yeah. There's a podcast about tea. He knows, yeah. and he wants you to I, know too. I was listening to a podcast on if dogs know their dogs. There's a podcast about that? Just like he'd want you to know about Allstate. There's a podcast about fly fishing called Why Is That Person Doing That? It's called t -rific. Are you listening to a podcast? Yeah, it's about multitasking. Some people just know there's a podcast about that. Those are the people who know you're in good hands with Allstate. At over $4 a blade, shaving every day gets expensive. Harry's Five Blade Razor offers me a close, comfortable shave. Best part, refills are as low as two bucks each, half of what I paid before. Go to harrys.com slash shave to claim your $7 trial. ESPN College Football, delivered by Papa John's, is brought to you by Coke Zero Sugar. Is it the best Coke ever for the best fans ever? 
And welcome back, everyone, to Pittsburgh. Eckrick Statement Saturday. You're watching ESPN College Football here on ESPN. And out of the backfield, this is Douglas. Going to be stopped up about three yards shy of the first down. Third down coming up. What do you like in terms of a play call for Florida State? I mean, here, look, I would want to get Jordan Travis out on the perimeter. Get him outside the pocket. Get him away from this A and B gap pressure that Pitt keeps sending. Mm. And let him use his legs. And see if they can get Jaheim Bell, Kyle Morlock, one of these tight ends open, too. The wide receivers just aren't as good as your front line guys. Get it to some of the mismatches on the inside, but get the quarterback on the edge. So a feeling in the backfield. Travis taking a shot. Got the man in the catch. First and goal, Ja'Kai Douglas. Got in behind A.J. Woods. That is a beautiful throw and catch. You see Ja'Kai Douglas on the slot fade, as they call it. And Jordan Travis just puts it right on him. Beautiful throw. That is what you come to expect from a guy of Jordan Travis's caliber. He's done it all year long, and now he's starting to deliver. 38 yards in all, first and goal. They're going to keep it on the ground, and Toafili will tote it down inside the one. McIntyre finally making the stop as we approach five minutes to go in the first half. The number four Seminoles trailing Pitt, who come in at two and six. Toafili stopped up short of the end zone. Come Camara flexed up, bowed up, and made the stop. That's a heck of a play by Bengali Camara, beating the block of the right tackle Jeremiah Byers and being able to keep Toa Feely out of the end zone. Shane Simon coming in to help him. McIntyre. Now here's where the running ability of Jordan Travis becomes a problem. To a feeling in the backfield. He's going to keep it. And they're going to blow it dead first time out. Pitt before the snap of the ball. Prior to the snap, Pitt takes its first time out of the half. So Pitt burns its first of its three timeouts. Florida State with its full complement remaining right there. They showed their hand a little bit going to try and keep it with Travis on the ground and Lewis you intimated that point a moment ago whenever Jordan Travis becomes aware of his ability to run the ball when he wants to they're even more lethal but when you account for them unable to score they have they average 42 points a game. Yeah. What do you attribute that to. A little bit of it for them obviously is because they don't have their heavy hitters on right. the outside and look Keon Coleman. I mean, these guys are going up over top of people like, at a ridiculous rate and able to make those one-on-one -on -one plays that not many people in college football can make. Right. So they're missing them. So that's obviously something that's hurting them. They get down there inside the red area. They try to go forward on fourth down. Pitt's defense rises up. So also, give Pitt credit. They are playing their best defensive game yeah. of the year against one of the most powerful offenses in all of college football. This is how it goes sometimes. You have to play the game. On paper, it may look one way, but we all know Oftentimes it could turn out not even close to what you expected. They go quick on the snap Benson in the backfield They try and push Travis in and he makes it touchdown Seminoles Jordan Travis kept it for the touchdown in that mass of humanity and bodies piled on top of each other on the field Ruin on the field is a touchdown Travis doing it himself, capping a 10 play drive. You see him, he's trying to just gives off to the right. Yeah, you see the ball there, it breaks the plane of the goal line clearly. That's a heck of an answer by yeah. Jordan Travis. A heck of a throw to Ja'Kai Douglas on the slot fade. His seventh rushing touchdown of the season, the 31st of his career. He's already gone over 10,000 yards passing for his career earlier in the game. And Ryan Fitzgerald ties the game at seven apiece. With 4.10 to go in the opening half. Now a quick word from Verbo. 
I'm here live on the balcony of this Verbo vacation home. And that turnover still smarts. Fortunately, with Verbo, you get the whole house. So he has the privacy to process all that emotion. It's always shit. Back to you. You know, you could tell Jordan Travis was going to have a big year earlier this year when they defeated LSU and then Clemson and able to turn the beat around here. When you talk about 8 and 13 in his first two years, and then that might have been the low point, the loss to Jacksonville State. And then the resurrection, the tipping point coming in that win against Syracuse. And now they've won their last 14 games, third longest winning streak in FBS. You know, I was talking about the win over Clemson and LSU. After that, Travis sold T-shirts on his NIL website that said Tiger King after defeating the LSU Tigers and Clemson Tigers. He sold the shirts for $31.24, which was the final score, 31 24 when they <laughs> defeated Clemson. I, I, I like a little bit of petty in my quarterback, Lewis. <laughs> so do I. And this young man by no means is someone who does not have a great sense of the journey that he has traveled, the road that he has traveled on, how much further he still wants to go. What a refreshing, refreshing outlook in terms of his self-awareness and his commitment to this football team. And you see right there, he's so grounded he hasn't been shaken by this game. Rodney Hammond in the Wildcat takes the snap. Vayer was lined up as a receiver. Q, you have a little bit more. Yeah, looking to become the Panther King today. Just needs like <laughs> a, some blue and gold paint to change that one over. This game's bringing out his competitive excellence. Th this game is sparking a fire within Travis, who scored that touchdown, whispered to the crowd as if to quiet down. But I just sense without easy, explosive touchdowns today, it's going to bring out the gritty side of Jordan Travis. Mm. He's been through a lot. Young man who, after losing to Notre Dame back in 2020, was booed off the field, sank so low and had so much self-doubt and lack of confidence that he considered quitting football at one point, were it not for the uplifting of his brother and his family that got him back on track. That was Bartholomew that was shaken up a moment ago for Pitt. And that was the key word, Mark. When I asked him, I said, look, what do you attribute this to? Your, your level of play, your continuous up in the ante in terms of your performance. And he said, it's all about confidence. And it isn't just about my own self-confidence. He said, yeah, I have an army of people around me that have really helped me, that have really infused and poured into me. And you're, what you're seeing is the result of all that support and that support structure that he has around him. A great story. Second down and eight. Flemish during the backfield. We got a little bit of motion. That was Flemister. False start. Offense, number 24. Five yard penalty, second down. Oh, yeah. He sees it. He sees Deloach and Bethune starting to show like they're going to come through those A and B gaps. And he, hey, Florida, Don't be late, huh? Florida State is saying, hey, look, y'all can do that to our quarterback. Let's see how you guys like it. <laughs> That's up a second and 13. The pressure has played a major role in this game on both quarterbacks, and they're going to have to answer for it the entire game. Bayer incomplete. Intended for Bub Means. Bernardo Green back there defending in the secondary. One of the top DBs that they've got in the ACC, not just Florida State. We're talking about pressure. I want you to watch Braden Fisk right here take Jake Cradle and just put him back into the lap of Christian Veyer. That's what we're talking about. That pressure up the middle, that just disorients quarterbacks, and that's got to be a major theme for both defensive coordinators. How can we create pressure right up the middle to make these quarterbacks not have clear throwing lanes? It's going to play out all afternoon. Veyer in the offense 0-4 of on third down today. Catch, but short of the first down to Mumfield and they'll have to punt here in all probability a nine yard game but we got a flag down back at the line of scrimmage at the 13. Think we might have rough in the passer huh? Personal foul, no. rough in the passer, yep. defense number 11, 15 yard penalty automatic, first down. 
Going to go against Patrick Payton. The pass rusher off the edge. That's a big time break for Pitt. You're going to see he gets the long arm bull rush, and then the right hand goes up to the helmet and hits Veyer on the side of the helmet. That's just not smart football. And you can see Mike Lavelle right there saying, look, we had a chance to get another possession here before the half. And you let him off the hook. And that's just the kind of break that a team like Pitt is looking for because now they're gaining confidence. Again, that, that theme, gaining confidence, the quarterback gaining confidence. Couldn't have drawn up a better script here in the first half so far. Backs out of the eye. Flemister flag down. Flemister down right near the line of scrimmage. And man who was voted a team captain. Holding. Offense number 78. 10 yard penalty. First down. Branson Taylor, who missed last week's game against Notre Dame, one of those sage and seasoned voices and players on the offensive line, especially on that left side. That offensive line hasn't been as porous as some might have thought coming into the game today. Yeah, the performance is still uneven. You can see there are times where they are losing the line of scrimmage battle decisively, and other times they're coming off the football. And then you hear the mistakes. Wow. The penalties. False starts. False start. Offense, number 24. Five yard penalty, first down. I was just going to say, after a rough start at Pitt, Flemister found his footing and his rhythm and his routine, but two costly errors on this drive so far. They've committed five penalties Pitt has for 37 yards. Rodney Hammond in the backfield now on first and 25. Bayer completed the 37-yard line. That's Reynolds. Reynolds trying to fight for every yard. His forward progress is going to be marked at the 39, so he'll pick up eight. Hit with two timeouts remaining. And there you see the arm strength of Veyer. Opposite yeah. hash, getting the ball to the wide side of the field, putting it on a rope, getting it there in a hurry. These are the kind of physical gifts that this young man has that you'll be able to see more of if they can protect him. They've been able to get some deep shots down the field on some good pass protection. We'll see if that's going to be the case all game long. Yeah, you recognize his arm talent right away. Second and 17. Off the mark that time. Intended for Carter Johnson. Taps his chest, says, my bad, that one's on me. Third and 17 coming up. Again, miscommunications. Remember, they are just making his fourth start here at Pittsburgh. New offense, new surroundings, new supporting cast. There's going to be these hiccups. And if you're Florida State, you have to make them pay. You have to make them pay. You're the fourth-ranked team in the country. You have one of the best pass defenses in the entire country. You have to make the young quarterback pay. Noel's in a fight right now. Bayer threw the arms of his intended receiver, number three, Reynolds. And it's incomplete. Fourth down coming up. You see Bayer trying to just thread this slant play in here to Reynolds. He puts it on him. If he could have just got two hands up to maybe make this catch. And sometimes wide receivers, they will alligator arms and throws like this when they're in a high traffic area. Right. Ja'Kai Douglas back for this punt for the Seminoles. Perched at his own 21-yard line. Junko with the kick. It's going to bounce at about the 30. And trick a lot of bounds at about the 25. It'll be first and 10 from there. Let's go back to the studio. Okay, Jonesy Madberry back at a college football studio coming up on the Lexus Halftime Report. Statement Saturday in Texas needed everything they could from Kansas State. We'll show you that. Plus, Georgia and Missouri, they are tied at the half. And Clemson and Notre Dame came down to the end. Maybe we all need a Tyler from Spartanburg in our lives. Dan Mullen, Joey Galloway, join me coming up at the half. All right, Matt, back here. This is Eckrich's Statement Saturday. You're watching ESPN College Football delivered by Papa John.
Jaheim Bell in motion now set. Travis incomplete intended for Bell. Couldn't catch up to it. Jaheim Bell, another one of those uh, potent weapons, versatile player. That's the pressure. Jaheim Bell was coming open on that what they call a wide deep cross. He's just running a crossing route on the third level of the defense. He was open, but again, the pressure that time from the shields, it just changes everything. It's not always about sex. Yeah. It's just about disrupting the quarterback's throwing vision, his throwing lanes. And Pitt is doing a good job of that so far in this game. Douglas split wide to the bottom of your screen. Travis the other way. Back shoulder fade, incomplete intended for Portier. Portier, sorry. Pressure all game long in the A and B gaps. The linebackers having to play downhill. Pat Narduzzi, he challenges his linebacker for it. He said, look, we're not going to jump around blocks. We're not going to go in there half step, and We're going to go in there, and we're going to play with physicality. And I want you to challenge these guys at the catch point as well. Because every single quarterback, Jordan Travis, or whether it's him, or if it's a young quarterback making his fourth start like Christian Bayer, pressure affects every quarterback. And you're seeing how it plays itself out in real time. And last pass intended for Portier. Third and ten. Travis complete to the tight end. Kyle Morlock still on his feet amazingly. Morlock in the open field. Down to the 11-yard line. And a costly missed tackle by McMillan and Simon. Results in a 64-yard gain. This can't happen if you're Pitt's defense. You can't have two of your best defenders at the point of attack against a tight end like Kyle Morlock and let him split both of you mm. and then create an explosive like that. That's twice now that big explosive plays have happened because of missed tackles. And those are the kind of things that you're going to look back on and you lose this game by saying key turning points. Travis hands it off to Toafili. Toafili inside the 10-yard line. Approaching a minute to go here in the opening half. We got a player shaking up down on the field. Timeout on the field for an injured player. Looks like Tyler Bentley. Bentley, the defensive tackle, fifth year senior out of Chester, Ohio. Hey, for the first ever NCAA men's or women's basketball tips off the college basketball season in Paris. How did we miss that trip, Lewis? <laughs> Monday. Wouldn't it's Monday, prepared. folks. <laughs> Nobody asked us, that's why. And we start with the history-making women's matchup. Number 10, Notre Dame, taking on number 6, Dawn Staley and her South Carolina squad. A coverage begins at 1 Eastern on ESPN and the app. Boy, what a great history-making event. Neil Ivey, the head coach of Notre Dame, her son, of course, Plays for the Detroit Pistons. Harris. That's not a bad trip. That's good work if you can get it, huh? <laughs> Exposing these young athletes to different cultures, going overseas, yeah. playing big time games like that. I mean, that, what a heck of an experience if you're a member of one of those two teams at Notre Dame or South Carolina. So 110 to go. Pittsburgh defense has held up extremely well on the season. They average, they give up 28, almost 29 a game, but holding a very potent offense for Florida State to just seven so far. Trey Benson comes in. It's been the big explosive plays. They've, hold, they've held Florida State to 3.2 yards per rush, but it's those plus 20 yard explosives that right now are giving them some problems. And still, this is 7 7 ball game. They're going to run the clock down. They think the jet sweep. Travis under duress. Wisely throws it away. Portier, the intended receiver. Good pressure by Nate Temple, the defensive end. You know, when you don't have those tall 6'4", six, 6'7", six, receivers in 
Wilson and Coleman just throw it. you lose the back shoulder fade and they're a big back shoulder fade team right yeah, you sure do but you know we saw Kyle Morlock the tight end with the big catch and run down the middle of the field he is 6'6 240 pounds he's in essence another big wide receiver for them that's a guy who I would look for down here because of the catch radius that he has third and nine for Florida State and we're gonna have a timeout Florida State takes its first time out of that. Marvell. 30 second timeout. Going to talk it over with the staff. 39 seconds to go. A couple of timeouts remaining. Hey, folks, aerial coverage provided by Goodyear. Road tested and game ready. Are you ready for the road? Goodyear. More driven. I know we'll never know what the play call was going to be, but you saw big 6'6 Kyle Morlock going in motion. <laughs> He was going to be in a one-on-one -on -one situation with the safety McIntyre at the top of the screen. I have a feeling they may have been trying to get the ball okay. to him right there. Now, we'll never know, so I'm just going to say they were. But let's just see if they're trying to get something with him one-on-one. -on -one. We saw him at practice a month ago down in Tallahassee, yeah. and he is fantastic. Third and nine. Little movement up front. Let's see who this is against. I think we're going to get it on Morlock. I think it was a false start on the tight end, 84. Yeah, that expression might confirm what you <laughs> just said. False start. Offense number three. Five yard penalty, third down. Please just hit the game clock to 39 seconds, 039. Thank you. Well, you, you get Morlock and the back. Benson, both of them moved. Wow. Could have called it on either one. See how they line up here. Bell and Ja'Kai Douglas split to the left, to the bottom of your screen for Jordan Travis. Got a single receiver to the top. He goes that way, up in the air. Caught, but out of bounds. Incomplete. Intended for Williamson. Hey, what about this Panther defense? They have been impervious for the most part here in the first half. But they put the corners one-on-one -on -one out on the edge a lot. And there, you're a Florida State fan. You're sitting there going, hey, is that not pass interference? You can see A.J. Woods, the corner, has his hand I was just gonna ask in that. the chest of Williamson. That may be one that they missed right there. Ryan Fitzgerald in to attempt this field goal as a result. From 32 yards out. And we get a timeout. Before the snap, Pittsburgh takes its second time out of the half. They're going to try and put Alex Mastromano, pardon me, Ryan Fitzgerald on ice. Last week he went five for five at Wake Forest. Ten of 11 on the season. They're going to review that last catch down by the end zone. Maybe it was a little more in question than we thought. You see there, I don't think his left foot is out of bounds. Yeah, it, no, I don't see anywhere how that stands for You see, I was just wondering, like, like, if anything, it was a pass interference. Ball, let's see. He's out of bounds by the time it's in his arms. Yeah. Here's the field goal attempt. Fitzgerald. From 32, gives the Seminoles a three-point advantage with 30 seconds to go here in the first half. Lewis, when you talk about Seminoles who are number four in the college football playoff standings against a team who, coming into the game, were a little over three touchdown underdogs. Mm. In that context, what does the lack of style points do for Florida State so far, so far in the first half. 
Nothing good. Nothing? That's for sure. I mean, it, it doesn't help them at all. And there's going to be a lot of debate about this game if it stays close like this, you know, once the rankings come out this week. Because there's no mis make no mistake about it, that's important at this time of year, especially considering the fact that Pitt looked the way that they did last week at Notre Dame. Florida State still has Jordan Travis. They still have one of the best, most explosive offenses in college football. And I get it. The players that they're missing are huge. But the fact that this game right now is a one-score game, a field goal game, and Pitt easily could be up 14 to 10, that's going to play on people's minds. They're going to they're going to take this in consideration, under consideration. It'll be interesting to see how this plays yeah. out and how this game ultimately ends. Boy, Pitt playing a feisty game today. As we take a look at this week's college football playoff rankings, brought to you by Allstate. Buckeyes had a little bit of a fight against Rutgers earlier this afternoon. What about that Georgia score so far? Tied at 10. Yeah, I mean, it, it, this is an important time of year, man. Things get real tight. That game, Washington at USC, that's going to be a big-time game. Florida State will be keeping their eye on that game, depending upon yeah. how things happen in this game for them. So there's a lot of intrigue right there within the top five, top six. Washington and Alabama on the fringes there. A spirited run by Daniel Carter. He's made good use of his touches so there's, far there's today. There's no huh? question about what it. What about that? This is a 230-pound fullback slash running back that right now is bringing a power component. It takes its final time out of the half. To their inside run game that really has not been there. Yeah. He, he came up smiling. <laughs> no doubt. Look, this is a big boy now, and you can see here, you just watch him right here, how he gets through the hole with low center of gravity on this inside zone. And you see there the left tackle, Branson Taylor, with a nice block. Watch 78 Branson Taylor right here. Watch what he does to Tatum Bethune. Watch how he gets locked on. Bethune can't get off. And then you just keep driving him, keep driving him, put him on the ground, keep driving him, mm -hmm. send a message. Man. When you have a 230-pound 200 running back like that, look, hey, maybe Pitt stumbled upon something. Maybe Frank Signetti is going to say, hey, look, I kind of like the kind of competitiveness with which he's running and he gives us a bigger body and you see there play some the, smash ball in the second you, half there you go there you go and it's all going to start up front the 45. they need more performance like that out of Branson Taylor to left tackle play with that kind of physicality they are completed into the boundary Bub means with the catch and run they're working quickly pit with no timeouts remaining 18 seconds to go seven yard pickup Nose of the ball at the 48. So maybe you have what, two, at least two plays here to get yourself into better field goal range. They are completed. Down to the 44. That's this. Reynolds. Got to move quickly, spike it here. There they go. Get one more and then a field goal. Clock continued to run. The fans calling that out. <laughs> saying, hey, uh-uh, you're not going to cheat us at three seconds. <laughs> not, at, not at the crib. Please set the game clock to 10 seconds. Please set the game clock to 10 seconds, 1-0. We'll start on the snap as it's an incomplete pass. Yeah, that can't happen at home. Shouldn't. Here's a look at Ben Souls, the place kicker. 0 for 1 last week, 6 of 10 on the season with the long of 51. Remember now, Pitt deferred to the second half, so they get the ball coming out. This is that two-for-one type of situation. Yep. Can you score going in and then get the ball in the second half and capitalize again? Got to get to about the 34 for field goal range. They are complete to the sidelines. Five seconds to go. And we got a flag down too, though. Holding Branson. offense number 78. 10 yard penalty, second down. You were just praising him a moment that's, ago, huh? See, that's, that's <laughs> the inconsistency, yeah. right? That's yeah. the inconsistency that has plagued this team all year. You see him right there going up against Jared Verse. You just got to let him go. Yeah, clearly that's, that's a hold. So now Seminole is going to put 
Three DBs all the way back on the 10 yard line. They are going to launch one. Deep downfield. And it's incomplete at about the 12. And that'll do it for the first half. The highly playmakers can make plays in one-on-one -on -one situations. You want to get points out of this, because if you get points out of this, and that's big right there. To yeah, kick off have, out of bounds. They'll have good field position at the 35 as a result. Free kick out of bounds. The kicking team, it'll be put football at the 35-yard line. Quinn, what do Coach Norvell have to say? Don't panic. Finish. Stay patient. Yeah, it's really kind of bizarre. You think about the yardage that Florida State has. Almost 300 yards of offense, yet they've only put up 10 points. The so red zone has to get better. Their tight ends are their leading receivers, and, and Kyle Morlock and Jaheim Bell. Uh, and I just think this game is testing their patience. It's a very different feeling game from other Florida State games we have covered and we have watched. Hit with the football. Florida State undefeated. Flemister stayed on his feet, made a couple of guys miss, used that straight arm, and finally wrestled out of bounds. There was a missed tackle by Akeem Dent and Patrick Payton, and he picked up 16 as a result. And just watch Patrick Payton right here. Watch him as he's coming across the field. You got to get him on the ground right there. You got to wrap him up and put the running back on the ground. You're a defensive end. That play should be dead right there. But as you can see, you can see why Sebo Flemister was now designated a year-long captain, a permanent captain on this Pitt football team. They respect his competitiveness. He showed it right there. Real power running. First and 10, little play action, taking a shot on the post. Incomplete, no flag intended for Means. Green back there defending for the Seminoles. Real interesting play. Renardo Green, you can see Bub Means feels as though he was kind of knocked off course because there was some incidental contact down the field. But I like the play call by Frank Signetti, the offensive coordinator, trying to go up top right away. You see it right there. I mean, they're not going to call that, but you see Bub Means looking back at the referee like, hey, what's up with that? Yeah. Rodney Hammond in the backfield on second and ten. They are going to be sacked back at the 40. They got to him. Kalen Deloach knifing through that front to make the sack. One of the leaders on this defense, you're going to see Deloach on the linebacker fire. He's just coming downhill. And you can just see right there, Christian Veyer's just got to get that ball out of his hands. That's Deloach's fifth sack of the year. Sets up a long third and 21. You had the strong run by Flemister. They tried to take a shot over the top. They don't get it. Now you get yourself set back on the sack. It's just a momentum killer. They are going to be sacked again. That's the sixth one of the day. Fisky. Fisk, pardon me. Fisk with the sack. This is a nice pass rush by Braden Fisk. Just watch what he does to Jay Cradle. It's kind of a little bit of a push-pull. Push, and then kind of arm overs him. And Braden mm. Fisk is one of the guys at the coaching staff here, namely Adam Fuller, the defensive coordinator. They rave about him. You see it right there. <laughs> he said this guy just loves football. He loves playing for Florida State. He loves everything about the game, and he has been playing high-level football all year. Ball came loose on the hit. Jakeem Douglas. Unable to squeeze it out of bounds on the 42-yard punt. He never really Ooh. had a handle on it. Lucky. Yeah. Let's take a look at our game track delivered by Papa John's. Some of the cogent pertinent numbers so far. The lowest scoring first half this season for the Seminoles. Just 10 points on the board as we start this third quarter play. This is going to be their first possession. This possession just as important for Florida State to now start to try and interject some doubt into the minds of Pittsburgh. And say, hey, look up, boy, here comes the tidal wave. Here comes yeah. Jordan Travis taking over. They need to go ahead and impose their will now on Pittsburgh. Trey Benson in the backfield on first and ten. 
Travis gets it out quickly. Pass complete to the tight end. Jaheim Bell nowhere to go. Going to be brought down. A short loss on the play, about half a yard loss. I can tell you this. The reaction to the screen game now, it is locked in. They are locked in. They're going to have to now start maybe trying to push the ball down the field, getting the ball to Morlock, getting the ball to Jaheim Bell down the field because the linebackers and the defensive line are rallying quickly to these tight end and halfback screens. Second and 11. Travis downfield, pushing it downfield, incomplete at the 42. A.J. Woods there. Man, Lewis, he's made some really brilliant plays in the secondary tonight. You see I what see he was trying to do? Yeah. You see what he's trying to do? He's trying to tip that ball up in the air to see if one of his guys is coming in pursuit and see if they can come and get a tip. You see right there, he purposely wow. tries to tip that ball up in the air, Great hoping point. that there's a defender trailing the play. Great point. That's exceptional awareness on the part of A.J. Woods to say, hey, look, I'm going to break this play up. I'm, I'm going to see if we can get a, get a turnover out of this. That's very, very instinctive. Tom Feely in the backfield on third and 11. And we got flags down on the field. Before the snap, false start, offense, number 70. Five yard penalty, third down. What's interesting about that play, Mark, the previous on the pass breakup by A.J. Woods, most defensive backs are just thinking in that situation, man, I, was getting, no. I just want to knock this ball down. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be the guy getting up the play. He's trying to set it up. He's thinking next level. Love that. that is awesome. Love that. Third and 16. Flushed out of the pocket. And sacked at the six. Great backside pursuit by Shane Simon. We spoke with him earlier, and he wants people asking after the game, Holding how did Pitt defeat Florida State? Something's declined to be fourth down. And he's trying to author a chapter of that book right now. You see, this is Pat Narduzzi calling card rush with six up front and then they play a three deep two under type of zone scheme in the back and what they're banking on is this we're going to get to your quarterback he's only going to be able to read one side of the field before he can come back and find the zone hole opposite and right there you see jordan travis immediately he's flushed out of the pocket and he can't find that open hole. that's the risk that's the chance that they're taking by putting pressure on the quarterback like that you see it's been paying off for him today yeah. Even Seminole fans with Excedrin headache number 47. Mastromano with the punt. Panthers will have great auspicious field position on the second possession of the third quarter. Travis shaking his head. Their heads are ringing right now. Only up by three. After that 39-yard punt. Nose of the ball at the 46. Travis speaking to Johnny Wilson. One of his valuable receivers not playing today. Illegal equipment violation on the kicking team. Two number fives participating in the down. That five yard penalty to be added to the end of the turn will be pit football. First down. Timeout. Two number fives. Tried to get pit with the old banana in the tailpipe. <laughs> Our oldest son, Stephen, had been stationed in the Marine Corps. He came home on a visit. We hadn't seen him for so long. Stephen said, I haven't had a Chick-fil-A sandwich in over three years. It was late at night. We were closing and the phone rings. Stephen explains his situation and I told him to come inside and we were gonna get him whatever he would like. Stephen gobbled up that sandwich in like two bites. It's been a while since we've seen him. We miss him. We brought a care package for Steve. I'll take that. Rufus hates being stuck inside. Uh. Luckily, Amy saved big at Amazon. Turns out with the right gear, Rufus rips. What if there was no comfort food? What if there was no frozen food? What if there was no fast food? What if there was no food? What if there was no hunger? 
Be the difference for women, children, and families hungry for a better future. Care.org. Support today to feed tomorrow. Millions of people have put Super Beats blood pressure support supplements to the test, and the reviews set us apart. We're Super Beats by Human, the only number one doctor, pharmacist, and cardiologist recommended beat brand for heart health support. Now at select Sam's Clubs and other leading retailers. Your vehicle takes a beating from the environment. Keep your vehicle looking better than new with Cerakote's Rapid Ceramic Paint Sealing, a breakthrough in ceramic technology. Now you can seal and protect your paint with unbelievable gloss, shine, and slickness in less than 30 minutes. Look at the difference with Cerakote's true hydrophobic ceramic technology. The level of gloss and slickness is unbelievable. Cerakote increased slickness by an incredible 72% compared to uncoated automotive paint. Everything just slides right off. Simply spray it on and lightly buff it with the included microfiber towels. That's it. Everything's included. Even water flows right off. I've been a professional auto detailer for almost 40 years, and during that time I've tried hundreds of paint care products. And I can tell you that Cerakote's rapid ceramic paint sealant is in a league of its own. Guaranteed to be the glossiest, slickest, and easiest to apply paint sealant you have ever used. Get professional gloss, shine, and protection for your vehicle. Buy any of Cerakote's number one selling ceramic products for under $20 at these leading retailers today. Well, here's a look at the infraction. It was actually it was a the wrong on the announcement. Foul. The foul was on the receiving team. That penalty's been declined. We put football first down. He said it was against Florida State, but it was actually against Pitt. They got the wrong team double vision there with the fives Bears got first and ten from the 46 going to keep it on the ground Hammond with a nice hole over the right side of that offensive line running over those or an experienced lineman. You got eight. You see the double team at the point of attack by Terrence Moore and B.J. Williams. And there, Kalen Deloach, this guess is wrong as far as where that ball is going to hit. Jumps out of his gap. And then immediately, Rodney Hammond's up on the second level. Look, run fits. Playing smart, making sure you know where you're supposed to fit are critical. It'll cost you if you don't get it right. On second and two, they run over the more proficient side of that offensive line, the left side, and pick up the first down, Hammond again. As you intimated in our conversation before we started the second half, the power running game. Yeah, I mean, we, the offensive line is starting to kind of come off the ball a little bit. Look, offensive linemen will all tell you they'd much rather come off the ball and try and hit somebody in the run game than constantly being set back on their heels in pass protection. And it's paying off for them right now. They're starting to find a little bit of a rhythm. Here's a look at the numbers so far with respect to rushing. This is Hammond into the boundary. Nice spin move. Falls forward and picked up about four yards on the play. Rodney Hammond out of Booker T. Washington High School in Norfolk, Virginia. You see, now they're even bringing in an extra offensive lineman. Terrence Enos Jr. has come into the game, and they're going with big personnel. Frank Signetti. You know, by nature, wants to be a power running football team as far as being a play caller. And now he's bringing big people in because he's sensing something. He's sensing that their offensive line starting to get a little confident, that the running backs are starting to run with some authority. Second down and six. Right now it's Flemister in the backfield. Play fake. Little waggle action caught by Epps. Epps, that big tight end at 6'6. Six, six. Brought down after a short game, Akeem Dent there to make the tackle on the two-yard game. So it'll be third down coming up. Knows the ball going to be placed at the 26th. Big play for Florida State's defense. You want to hold Pittsburgh to set to three at the very least. They're 0 for 6 on third down. Absolutely. Close. And look, Florida State's one of the best third down defenses in all of college football. And if you're Pitt right now, who are you going to? Who's been making the plays? It's Ben Mumfield. He looks like he's one-on-one -on -one down here at the bottom of the screen. Bayer, not going to have time, and is rushed to throw it out of bounds. So an opportunity falling by the wayside there on third down, and they are now 0 for 7 on third downs in the ball game today. Florida State player shaking up. That's the Jared Verse. One of their top players on that side of the football. 
Absolutely. You've been singing his praises since we saw them earlier this year. Yeah, you First round talent, right? You don't want to see that. Yeah. You don't want to see him laying on the sideline here. This is a young man that when it's tuned up, he can go now. So that's something that bears watching. We're going to take a short break and come right back. On a spicy fansville. Welcome back to Touch Take, where I lock myself in a room and I yell about sports. Hot take. Punting is for losers. Hot take. Hot take. Hot take. Let's go back to leather helmets. We have a special guest today on ESPN College Game Day. Geico Deco. Look, 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 just get to the part when you tell everyone how easy it is to ensure what's important to them. Home, car, even RV. Come on, there's an RV right there. Did, did he even see the talking points I gave him? I don't believe so, sir. For all your insurance needs, from home to car to RV, it's easy to get go. Desmond, I forgot the talking points. Entire season leading up to this. After the highest highs, the lowest lows, and the happiest of ugly cries, it's time to get together. Get a place with the crew. Assemble the band. Roar, lions, roar. Hook them. Go blue. Go ducks. Go nuts. Well, technically, Buckeyes are nuts. Point is, it's bowling season. So turn all those away games into home games in a verbo all your own. Football away, baby. Well, penalty, penalty a moment ago called against Gavin Bartholomew. Let's see what happened here, Lewis. Let's Previous plays under further review. He's walking up the sideline. Something must have been said. You see the official. You see the official right here, and he's looking dead at Gavin as he's walking away. There's no way of telling what was said or if anything was said. Or You saw Gavin's reaction, and he was surprised that the flag was thrown. Bartholomew wasn't even on the field in that play. I mean, this is a big-time play. This, this really changes some things right yeah. here while Pitt was in field goal range. Yeah, the ball was well within field goal range before the flag. And in a game where you only have 17 points, every field goal counts. Sure, how you review this? I, yeah, <laughs> that, that's a great question. I'd like to know what he was looking After at. After further review, the ruling on the field stands will be fourth down. What, what was reviewed? I mean, what was reviewed? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, what are you looking at? There's no audio. I mean, what are you reader, looking at? Yeah, yeah. Bar Bartholomew's back is to the camera, so how do you even know if, what he said or if he said anything? Yeah, that's that's yeah. interesting, to say the least. Seventh punt today. Pitt officially out of field goal range after the penalty. And not the best effort there by Caleb Junko. Well, tonight we'll have the Pac-12 game of the night. Michael Penix Jr., number five, Washington. At the Coliseum in Los Angeles, squaring off against Caleb Williams in number 20, USC. Coverage begins at 7.30 Eastern on ABC as well as the ESPN app. That punt traveling just 21 yards in all. Florida State leading by just three points. Trey Benson, the lone back. Jaheim Bell in motion. Travis going to pull it out. Actually, no, he doesn't. Solomon to Shields tackled Benson with nowhere to go. And if you're just joining us, a quick reminder that their leading receiver Florida State's of Florida State, Keon Coleman, is out with an injury, as is Johnny Wilson. Those two side by side right there. Wilson with the cap on. It's a lot of yards watching from the sidelines. Sure is. And Florida State has had absolutely no answers for this double A gap, double B gap pressure that Pitt has applied relentlessly all afternoon. Toa Feely motions out of the backfield. Travis, little receiver screen complete, and a nice run after the catch 
by Ja'Kai Douglas for the first down. A well executed play and a pickup of 18. Just a little bubble screen. We've got some good blocks out there at the point of attack. Ja'Kai Douglas getting the ball north and south in a hurry. Travis going to throw it. Douglas. Little bump and grind down the side there, and that's going to be a late flag against somebody, either Marquise Williams or Ja'Kai Douglas. Williams with his palms up in the air. I'm not sure that this is like not even catchable. After further discussion, there is no foul for pass interference. Yeah. The second down. That's a good call. They're both just hand fighting, trying to get position down the field. You're going to see it right here. Yes, they both have their hands on one another. Yeah, let's play on. Yeah. From the 35, second and 10. Or tear to the bottom of your screen. Keep it on the ground with Rodney Hill. And a nice surge from Brandon George to make the tackle. No gain. And it's going to be fourth down. You've got to love how Brandon George is playing in this game. He is off the spot immediately. Look, he's tracking this ball inside out. Perfect angle to the ball carrier. Played his best game by far of the year so far. Brandon George, 6'3", 245 pounds, fifth year senior at a Reading PA. But this young man, I mean, he's the, that's the perfect build when you're talking about a Mike Backer, an inside linebacker. All three of them between George, Shane Simon, Solomon to Shields. They have been in lockstep all afternoon. Third down. Travis, a dart complete near midfield at the 48 yard line to the tight end, Jaheim Bell, to pick up 13 yards. That guy is a mismatch problem. No question. And I'll tell you what, he just, speed. he just caught an absolute laser from Jordan Travis. He put that ball on a rope from the 48 yard line. Going to keep it on the ground with Trey Benson, who might have gotten a tough yard at best. Hayes with the stop. He was the top recruit Hayes was from Pittsburgh City League in decades, coming out of high school. I tell you, he, he made the tackle, but Tyler Bentley, the defensive tackle who took on the double team, made the play. He tied up too. Brandon George was coming in there. Deion Hayes just kind of needed to flatten down the line of scrimmage and made the tackle. This is good team defense right now by Pitt. I mean, I'm sure there are Pitt fans wondering, where was this last week? They got the message yeah. this week. Second and nine. Jacobs in motion. Jacobs down the seam, makes the catch in the first down. Down to the 31-yard line. Travis on the money again for 19 yards. You see it right here, Jordan Travis. You see, and he's seeing that there is an absolute void in the middle of this defense. And he hits Jacobs quickly, speeds up his process, gets the ball out. Another pinpoint shot. First and 10 from the 32. Torafili between the tackles down to the 24. Solomon DeShields making another tackle for Pitt, but a seven yard gain for the Seminoles. This offensive line for Florida State, as healthy as it's been in a while. Big fellows across the front. Second and three. They run it again. Toa Feely with nowhere to go. Might have fallen forward for a yard. Sets up an interesting third and three. They're in field goal range. Okay, what you're seeing right now, you know, sometimes football is pretty simple. When they put the hit ball in the hands of Jordan Travis and let him kind of read out the defense post snap and find his own holes, they move the football. They try to run the football right now, Pitt is stuffing it, especially when they try to run it between the tackles. This is going to be a Jordan Travis-led second half. Put it in his hands. One of the best players in the country. Let him decide it. Benson in the backfield on third and three. Travis incomplete. 
intended for Tofili out of the backfield. Travis wanted a flag. And we might have gotten a late one. And yeah, they're going to get yeah. Brandon George. Coach Narduzzi in disbelief there. And he gets him. You're going to see it right here. He's going to come across like this. And you're going to see Brandon George right here as he's trying to get across that. That's what they call Pass interference on the defense. Yes. Probably placing the spot on the foul of the mat. First down. In what otherwise has been a stellar afternoon for Brandon George. He's made some nice plays oh, he, for them defensively. He has played exceptional. Exceptional physicality, blitzing, tackling. This whole defense has answered the bell this week. There is no doubt you cannot dispute that no matter how this game turns out. They have answered the call. And they've got to answer it again because right now, number 13 is heating up. And he's saying, this is my game. Ty Douglas split to the bottom of your screen in motion now. Gonna hand it off to Trey Benson. Good tackling. And they limit Benson to little or no gain. Once again, Brandon George. He's just been all over the place. Whether it be as a blitzer getting out on the edge and making tackles in space, you see it right here. Touchdown, Seminoles! Douglas on the catch. And Jordan Travis strikes. There it is. You're going to see right here, there's just going to be a void down the middle of the field. It seems like there's a little bit of confusion here. You got three on two at the top. They go empty, and they just don't cover down on the, on the tight end, wow. Douglas. And they just let him free release and vacate the second and third level of the defense. It's a mis miscommunication of some sort. Gave him an easy one that time. Douglas with the second touchdown catch of the season. Jordan Travis with his 19th touchdown pass this year. Sim yeah. No, I'll just say it again, Mark. Just yeah. put it in the hands of the, one of the best yep. players in the country. Let him figure it out post snap because those are the results you're going to get. This is the beginning of a new era. Liberty Mutual customized my car insurance, and I saved hundreds. With the money I saved, I started a dog walking business. I was a bit nervous at first, but then I figured, it's just walking, right? <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, it's just a bunny! <laughs> Calm down, Taco! Sit! That just stop! Sesame! No, no, no! Walter, don't! No, don't! You're lucky you're so cute. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 liberty. My old friend, I think you told me you again because a vision saw me dreaming. But it seems my eyes are sleeping, and the vision that was planted in my brain still remains within the sound. VapoStick provides soothing, non-medicated Vicks Vapors. Easy to apply for the whole family. Vicks VapoStick and try Vapo Shower for steamy Vicks Vapors. Popeye's new sweet and spicy wings don't make sense. Marinated and tossed in a blend of chili, garlic, and ginger, as sweet as they are spicy. Speaking of flavor, order a Cajun-style turkey at your local Popeye's this holiday season. Connect on a sweeter level. 
Kellogg's Rice Krispies Treats. Spectrum Móvil es el proveedor de servicio móvil de más rápido crecimiento en el país. Y ahora es el momento de cambiarte. Obtén Spectrum Móvil ilimitado por $29.99 por tu primera línea y cada línea. Haz clic o visita una tienda de Spectrum hoy. Welcome back, everyone, to Pittsburgh. Florida State taking a 17-7 lead on that touchdown pass a moment ago from Jordan Travis to Douglas. They're looking to rally here. They'll have the first and 10 from their 25. Hey, all season long, student sections across the country are competing to be the Taco Bell Lift Moss Student Section of the Year. Download the Taco Bell app to learn more. Those fans going to have to turn up the volume a little bit. Try and get their team back in it. Night has fallen here in Pittsburgh. Clock go, clocks go back soon, right? Back. Yep. Spring sure forward. Do. Fall back, yeah. Fall back. Yeah. Give me an extra hour. There you go. <laughs> Start getting dark at 3 yes. o'clock, 4 o'clock in the <laughs> afternoon. There you go. Got rid of it. Pop for the first down. Bob Means has been one of his go-to guys today. What a great touch throw by Bayer. He knows he's going to take a hit. He's got to fade away from the pressure, fade left, throw the ball back across his body right, and still put enough juice on it and put it up high enough for Bub to go get it. Remember, this is his fourth start of his career. That's a great throw right there under difficult circumstances. From the 38. Play action. Incomplete. Intended for Mumfield. Q? Well, while Bayer may lack in experience, he doesn't lack in confidence. And you see the physical skills he has. He's one of three pit quarterbacks on this roster who are gigantic, 6'5 or taller. The question I have, Lewis, is what are you seeing in terms of the development of his mind, of his eyes, and the decision making? I mean, look, I. I think he is progressing steadily. I think, obviously, quarterback development a lot is about what is around you, the running game, the pass protection, the synergy with the wide receivers. I think he's pro progressing nicely. He hands it off here. Nowhere to go for Rodney Hammond. Stopped up right near the line of scrimmage by number 10, DJ Lundy. Sets up a third down and 10 coming up. One of the things that you see most, Quentin, is you see him throw the football with anticipation. On the play previous, that may have been a completion. The ref got in the way. The ref set a natural pick, I believe, on Mumfield trying to run the crosser. Otherwise, that may have been a completion. That's one of the things that impresses you the most about this young man, his ability to throw with anticipation before receivers get out of the break. And he's going to need to deliver a big one here. There, almost intercepted at the 40-yard line. Brown would have loved another opportunity to hang on to that football. Shaheem Brown almost had a pick. If you see it here, watch Mumfield coming across your screen. He's not even looking for the ball. His head is down. He hasn't even started to try and pick up the quarterback and whether or not he's going to be throwing it to him. And it almost resulted in a pick in, the, in their football crew will be at MetLife Stadium for the Chargers and Jets. 8 Eastern on ABC, ESPN, ESPN Deportes with Peyton and Eli once again on ESPN2. What, what kind of drama we got with the Jets this week? Did I miss something? <laughs> we always see a little bit of drama. Are they, the things just kind of cool with them? Uh, you know what? I've been so dialed into this game. I'm not <laughs> quite sure. I'm not quite sure if I'm missing it. It could have been that big. We would have heard about I'm it. I'm a file, yeah. Yeah, look here. I like what they're doing under some difficult circumstances there in New York. Travis pulls it out. Going downfield and caught. Mm. What a grab by Ja'Kai Douglas. He was working A.J. Woods. That 
is a Heisman type of throw. Look where he puts this ball over the outside shoulder, away from the defender, because I tell you, A.J. Woods has played some football. Good night. Touchdown, Seminoles. 55 yards in a sprint across the Pittsburgh night. You're going to see right here, double team, Shane Simon. You take a side, and this is what happens. You get gashed. If you don't hit this square up, you see right there, you just make it easy for the offensive lineman to just wall you off. If you just put a shoulder in there, and you don't square that block up and make it harder for the running back to hit that ball like that, that's what happens. You create creases in the front. Man, he was untouched, and it starts a hemorrhaging of fans heading for the exits here in Pittsburgh. Benson's eighth rushing touchdown of the season. Chronicled what a great comeback story he's been. And you see it right there. You can see Tyler was, Bentley trying to hold on to that double team. And again, untouched, Lewis. Yeah, if you're Simon, you just gotta, you gotta try and square that up. You gotta try and take that on flush. It just created too big of a gap. And look, we've seen Trey Benson do this before. Mm. We saw him down in Tallahassee against Virginia yep. Tech, how late in the game, he just went crazy. I was uh, really impressed by his story and his comeback from ACL, MCL, and LCL knee surgery. Told me that he was back on the football field in about seven months going through his arduous and laborious rehab and was playing less than a year after that. So. Lewis, you know, when you come back from an injury, it gives you a certain sense of appreciation. And man, he, he ran and has been playing with great joy since being at Florida State. 11 rushes, 93 yards in that touchdown to break this game open a little bit at 24-7. Kenny Johnson on the return stopped up right at the 20-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for Christian Bayer. a day of near misses of sorts for the Panthers and a late flag down on the field I think you may have some unsportsmanlike or something that happened at the end of that play on the kickoff after the play unsportsmanlike conduct Kicking team number 38, his first foul of the game, uh, first one sports like foul of the game. 15 yard penalty, first down. Did he say something or do something? <laughs> Here's a big play on the drive that could have really turned the tenor of this game around. Completion to Mumfield, going into the end zone, he lost the football. It was recovered in the end zone for a touchback. At a time of the game when it would have done wonders to change the complexion of it, albeit early. Bayer hands it off. Flemister up to about the 40, got 7 yards, and boy, that personal foul call against Gavin Bartholomew while on the bench will, for me, this year maybe be the most inexplicable penalty that I'll see this year. Yeah, the thing that gets me is the review. Like, what were you reviewing? Yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't get that. But nevertheless, I think it's important for Pittsburgh here now how they play takes on a lot of importance. Got to get their poise back right continue, here. Hammond on the run. Exactly. To continue to compete. Continue to play with physicality. Offensive line. Continue to work on your craft. Compete. These guys are now trying to get better as a football team. They run it here. Rodney Hammond over the right side of that offensive line. So you alluded to the fact that it's not so much maybe, it's always about the score. You always want to of win, course. but right now Pitt's trying to be process oriented. That's right. As opposed to a certain result, You're right? Exactly right. You're exactly right. The way in which you play, the competitive character that you show is important because the coaches are taking stock, the players are taking stock themselves yeah. about who are the fighters on this team, who do, who do I want to go to war with, so to speak. I mean, it, it's, it's an important time in this game. 
A lot of young players, freshmen on this team, seeing significant time. That's going to be a gain of one by Rodney Hammond. Third down coming up. Meanwhile, Florida State finding themselves on both sides of the football here in the third quarter. I alluded to the fact that they've been a pretty good second half team this year. And here's one of these situations again. Let's see what Christian Veyer's decision making is like. His accuracy, the pass protection. They have these what the wide receivers have made plays all game long in one on one situations. Bob means out to the top of your screen. Reynolds in motion. Veyer got rid of it quickly. Pass complete to Mumfield and he's going to be close to the first down. I'm guessing you got to go for it here, right? No question. There's no reason not to. Pick up of eight on the play. Fourth and one. So this is one of those situations here. You got a fourth and one situation. Do you just get up underneath center? Execute some kind of a push play and bring in Dracovic in here, the former quarterback, number five, coming into the game. He was the starter up until the Louisville game when Bayer took over. Don't like getting him done in this kind of situation, I can tell you that. It's going to be Carter lining up in the Wildcat, but instead. Pittsburgh takes his first time out of the half. They're going to call the timeout. The 30 second timeout. Bayer was split wide as a receiver. I was getting excited to see what that play was going to look like with Carter taking the direct snap. And you know, we haven't talked about the fact that Phil Jerkovic was the starter for this program earlier until Bayer took over. And it's never really easy taking over midstream as the starters QB1 right not at all not at all because you haven't taken hardly any reps you may have worked with some of the receivers like maybe in offseason conditioning and then right. during training camp but you don't have the same kind of rapport as the guy who they were getting ready all training camp long has with them and now you're talking about a young man who's making just his fourth start trying to learn it on the fly and today playing one of his best games against one of the best passing defenses in the country Jerkovic goes under center, takes the snap, and will pick up the first down. I like a little trickery there. I, I was about to say, <laughs> if, if they actually snap this ball and gun on fourth and inches, when they bring in a quarterback who's like, what, 6'5", 235 pounds, and I don't, I don't really know about that strategy, but I like it. Yeah. I like the end result. Jerkovic with, Jerkovic with a nice run. I wonder who that snap was. He moved under the center in the, the last minute. Yeah, I mean, it's risky, but again, chunk plays. How can we get the ball down the field, get the ball to Mumfield? Oh, boy. Ball start. Offense, number 68. Five-yard penalty, first down. Zubovic and Taylor were moving a little bit early. Been a rough last couple weeks for head coach Pat Narduzzi. Consecutive losses to Wake Forest. 21-17 and 58-7 last week and more linen on the field. Ball start. Offense number 68. Five yard penalty. First down. I don't, I don't know how many times I've ever seen a, an offensive lineman go back to back like that. I mean, it's it's these kind of things that have just absolutely. Please set the game clock to 11 minutes. Just hurt this seconds. football team right. in so many different ways. And these are upperclassmen. Zubovic is a former starter. You, you just can't have these right. kind of issues. You can't have it when you're trying to establish some kind of rhythm and some kind of consistency. There. High picked off at the 25 yard line and the defender fell down. Hussey with the INT. Conrad Hussey out of Sunrise, Florida, out of the highly esteemed program, St. Thomas Aquinas in Fort Lauderdale. 
This one just gets what gets away from Christian. He just airmails it. Costly, costly mistake. Man, I hate Dustin. Then get you some Easy Does It Dust Spray. Now in Pine Who are you talking to? This guy seemed really good at endorsing. I don't know if I'm at that level yet. Level up with a 2023 Nissan Rogue. Go Rogue in a Nissan Rogue. Come on, you got this. Joe's Ice Tea of UCLA. Quench your thirst. The brew. I can't. Yeah, that's fair. Everyone's talking about Killers of the Flower Moon. I'd love it as much as I love my wife. <laughs> it's a new kind of Scorsese masterpiece. That's real nice. Killers of the Flower Moon. Read it R. Want to get first dibs on Walmart Black Friday deals? Join Walmart Plus now because members shop online three hours early. It all starts Wednesday, November 8th at noon. Join Walmart Plus today and shop Black Friday deals. Where'd you learn to serve? Oh, I didn't serve. But if your spouse, parent, or grandparent served in the military, you can join USAA. Yeah, my grandpa did. So I'm already in. But I was talking about your serve. Oh. USAA for the military community. This. Go to plan B. Okay, great. What is that? Today, one of the best action movies ever made is on 4K UHD. Tom Cruise. Hit it. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. Buy it on 4K disc and digital today. Chipotle's carne asada is back. Grilled fresh in small batches. This is our best steak ever. Fast, easy access to premium quality water can make all the difference in staying on top of your hydration needs. With Ready Refresh, it's really easy. Let us deliver the water you love for less. Our new show, Toya and Regine, is now live on Go to your membership settings to add it today or try it free. Welcome back, everyone. This is Eckrich Statement Saturday. You're watching ESPN College Football delivered by Papa John's. Seminoles with the football. Rodney Hill put his pads down and just disemboweled Williams. You see Marquez Williams, 180 pounds maybe. Get caught flat-footed and on your heels. Against a running back like Rodney Hill, he showed earlier in the game what he could do with the lesson he taught Donovan McMillan. Travis trying to get his shoulder square to throw it. Comes back the other way, got a receiver. And he's got some runners, Destin Hill. And Hill makes it deep into pit territory at the 35-yard line. Wonderful improvisational skills by Jordan Travis resulting in a 29-yard pickup. This is why some people, and I know everybody lets this calm down before I say this. Hey, go ahead. Why some people say this guy has some Mahomes in him in terms of his ability to create outside the pocket. He's rolling full speed left, gets his body squared up, and throws the ball back across his body to the right, finds the open receiver. It's just never over with this young man. It's never over. He has so much creativity in him and dual threat capabilities. You're never out of it. Hands it off to Benson. Straight ahead between the tackles. A nice gain of about five on the play. Here's what it looked like from up top. Just watch. He's in a full split. He's just trying to get out here and see him cross up. Get himself square again and then just throw it back. I mean, that kind of vision, that kind of confidence, that kind of playmaking ability. Great footwork. Lewis, he had a little karaoke yeah, footwork going on in there. In the middle so, of it. Yeah, yeah, you saw that, right? <laughs> Love me a good ad lib. Fantastic athlete. Danielson a little shaken up. Back after this. Always advancing. 
with game-changing formulas that promote mental sharpness and help extend lives. See what nutrition can do. Purina Pro Plan. Always advancing. Let me show you what goes on behind the scenes when making a shakaroni. Bust. We created shakaroni my way. An extra large pizza topped with extra cheese and extra pepperoni. It's a simple recipe. We take everything you love, then we build it bigger. Pizza gets bigger when you shakaroni. This is crazy. We call it a symbiont. And it chose you. What the hell's going on with teeth? I'm the hero here. Not you. You're not yourself. You want to join us? We can fight this together! Great team. Team. Don't order during the game. Order during the break. Don't, Don't order, order during the game. game. Order, order during, during the break. break. Don't, Don't order during the game. game. Order during, during the break. break. To 50 years with my best friend. <gasps> Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty absorbs spills like a sponge and is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. When you're with Amex, the end of one season just means the start of another. That's the powerful backing of American Express. Some people just know what road to take. Those are the people who know to choose Allstate. The service road is faster. Turn left. Not happening. He knows better than any GPS, and he'd point you in Allstate's direction. Go all the way down the road, past the big gray warehouse. Take the next exit. You're not from around here, so you don't know the back roads. I don't want to be late for the party. I'm going to save us five minutes. Some people just know what road to take. You're on the fastest route. Those are the people who know safe drivers save 40% with Allstate. Matt Barron, in our college football studio, back and forth in Bedlam. Ollie Gordon, the second, continues to have a remarkable season. He puts the Pokes back on top 27 to 21. Also, coming up tonight, primetime ESPN. Kansas and Jason Bean started the day one of five teams at 4 and 1 in the Big 12, along with Iowa State. That'll be a good one coming up in over 20 minutes. All right, and back here in Pittsburgh, Seminoles with the football in control on second and six. A little reverse and pass. Travis sacked back in midfield by Temple. Nate Temple never gave up on the play. Kept coming to get the sack. You can see Nate Temple right here. This is the kind of competitiveness that we're talking about. Despite the fact that the game is getting away from you a little bit, just watch how he continues to work, continues to work, continues to work. Those are the kind of things that you're looking for right now in this game. That's the kind of competitiveness that you're looking for. Third and 23 as a result. Travis into traffic and incomplete intended for Portier. Jay Devonshire wanted two defenders back there. So it'll be fourth down. They'll punt it away with 8.34 to go. Florida State number four in the college football playoff rankings. And we chronicled the turnaround by Mike Norvell's program after the first two years. Bottoming out with that loss Seven against Jacksonville State at home in Tallahassee. And Boy, what a resurrection after that and rebirth. Jordan Travis, a big part of that. And a nice punt by Mastromano. Right around the 10-yard line. Back with more after this. Right now, get a free foot long at Subway. Like the new Deli Heroes. Buy one foot long in the app, get one free. It's a pretty big deal. Kinda like me. Order in the Subway app today. Looking for the perfect gift? The Home Depot has a gift for you. Buy a select battery kit, get a select tool free. The sander for my dad? Free? Free. Free. You're saying this is completely? Free. Ding Fansville by Dr. Pepper. Whoa! That was past interference! That's it! 
Season's over. Our program's cursed. See? I can't watch this. Every year I fall for the preseason hype. I made all this for nothing. I'm never watching football again. Hey guys, that was the first play of the game. Ah, oh, maybe we overreacted. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. Numbers move you, but some can stop you in your tracks. Like the tens of thousands of people who were diagnosed with certain HPV-related cancers. For most people, HPV clears on its own. But for those who don't clear the virus, it can cause certain cancers. Gardasil 9 is a vaccine given to adults through age 45 that can help protect against certain diseases caused by HPV, including cervical, vaginal, vulvar, anal, and certain head and neck cancers, such as throat and back of mouth cancers and genital warts. Gardasil 9 doesn't protect everyone and does not treat cancer or HPV infection. Your doctor may recommend screening for certain HPV-related cancers. Women still need routine cervical cancer screenings. You shouldn't get Gardasil 9 if you've had an allergic reaction to the vaccine, its ingredients, or are allergic to yeast. Tell your doctor if you have a weakened immune system, are pregnant, or plan to be. The most common side effects include injection site reactions, headache, fever, nausea, dizziness, tiredness, diarrhea, abdominal pain, and sore throat. Fainting can also happen. Help protect what counts. Talk to your doctor or pharmacist about Gardasil 9. Rufus hates being stuck inside. <laughs> Luckily, Amy saved big at Amazon. Turns out with the right gear, Rufus rips. To know hockey is to love hockey. The NHL on ESPN and ESPN+. Plus. ESPN College Football is delivered by Papa John's. Pizza gets bigger when you shakaroni. Only at Papa John's. Yeah, happy Jameis Winston in the background the last time that they won a national championship in 2013. Tremendous football history at Florida State. And invoking those memories with their record this year. Nice pass and catch. Complete to Means. We talked about the turnaround. Three and six, followed by a five and seven year, then a resounding ten and three last year. Eight and zero oh with the meter running last year. Jordan Travis pointed to that two-minute drill comeback victory that he led against Syracuse as a pivotal point in their comeback. Carter in the backfield. To think that Carter. Travis looked good, pardon me, earlier. Tackle by Barker. Quint, what's up? Mark, Mark, we had Coach Norvell in the Seminole program a lot back in 2021. You mentioned three and six in his first year. They opened the 21 season 0 and 4. Okay, so he's, what, three and 10 as a head coach. And, you know, the, the rumors were swirling that they were going to try to run him out of town. But we never saw him flinch. We never saw him get distracted. He stayed true to that purpose. He stayed true to the mission as the ball goes incomplete in the far side. Looks like the pit player is shaking up. We've got multiple flags. And you see that consistency from Coach Norvell and this program. You're right, Q. He never flinched. Stayed resolved and... Holding Resolute. defense number 20 of an eligible receiver. 10-yard penalty automatic, first down. That's Reynolds, the pit player shaking up. The healthy conversation with the officials <laughs> back after this. A truck is a tool, but a ram, a ram is life. Yeah, it's the wipe the sweat off your brow sort of life. But it's also the let's load up the ATV's life. The my kids play way too many sports life. The let's find a secret spot to fish life. That looks nice. Innovations, comforts, and powertrains built to power all the lives you live. Ram. Hit that pose, take that flick, check your angle, post that. Catch me in midair, play. I do this with flair. Hit that pose, take that flick. Get Google Pixel 8 free at T-Mobile. It's your Uncle Cooper. Your SUV is a multi-purpose tool, like these Cooper rugged treks. And with dual sidewalls, it's like having a multi-tool that can look like a completely different multi-tool. 
Go with the Coopers. Uh, I'll deal with this tomorrow. You won't. It's ripe in here. My eyes are watering. Look how crusty this is. Uh, it's just too much. Not with this. Good advice. When stains and odors pile up, it's got to be tied. Team, it's been a grind, but I think I've aged you well. Some might say perfect. Who's ready to show them who's the cheesiest? I woke up feeling the cheesiest color. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Cheese it, official sponsor of the college football playoff. When game time runs into dinner time, a hero must rise. Like DiGiorno Rising Crust Pizza. Because delicious, fresh baked taste straight. Just for you. Just for you. Just for you. Just for you. Liberty Mutual customized my car insurance, and I saved hundreds. With the money I saved, I started a dog walking business. Oh! Ah! oh no, it's just too funny! Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. BK Royal Crispy Wraps. Eat it with the meal or have it as a snack. Only $2.99. It's a hunger hack, and it fits in one hand. Simply Safe's number one rated home security, powered by 24-7 professional monitoring, is half the cost of traditional brands. So you stay safe for less than a dollar a day. Now get 50% off a new Simply Safe system. There's no safe like Simply Safe. First and 10 pit from the 32 yard line. Pardon me, the 28. Duh. The 28 yard line. And uh, the good news is that. Reynolds came off the field under his own power and is apparently okay. If you look at this Florida State defensive line on that last snap, these guys are still rushing the passer as if the game is tied or they're behind. All of them. Joshua Farmer, Braden Fisk, 55. They are getting after it. They are complete underneath. That's means. About four yards shy of the first down. Let's go back to the studio. All right, guys, coming up, Rocco Beck at Iowa State. I talked about five teams at four and one. Iowa State has played their way into the Big 12 conversation. They've got Kansas coming up just over 11 minutes. You're on ESPN. We'll kick on ESPNU first. Third and three. They are incomplete. Intended for his tight end, Carter Johnson. Fourth down, though. Go for it here. And Pitt on the cusp of losing its third consecutive game to fall to two and seven overall. This would be their first loss in the month of November in two years. And they're going to punt. This is not going to make the fans happy here. And you know what? I think getting more reps for Christian Bayer. I think it's something that's important. It's not like he's getting hit. He's not getting beat up, getting put on the ground. Yeah, this looked a lot different, at least, than last week against Notre Dame. But there has been no team in the conference, perhaps, that has used the portal to its advantage more proficiently than Florida State. Every First, Benson, Wilson from those three schools transferring every in. Every guy, Mark, has been an impact guy. Yeah. Those six guys right there are impact players. Coleman. At the highest level. Yep. So it can be done. And that, the thing that he told us when we were down in Tallahassee that I loved the most was the fact that you have to know when to say no and be willing to say no yeah. also. Just as much as you're willing, you have to be willing to open yourself up to accepting your transfers in. And they've identified them now. They've nailed it. Yeah. There is a science to working the portal. This is Rodney Hill. He's going to be brought down near the line of scrimmage. Quint? Yeah, I think it's as simple as the players don't choose to transfer to Florida State. Florida State picks them. And that's Great point. A, and, and you know what? That's really that's kind of got to be the way that you have to do it because you know your culture. You know what you can accept and what you can't. You know what you can take on and what you can't, what will fit. And Mike Norvell has a great idea of what will fit now. It was interesting talking to people down on the field. They were just saying, just a couple of years ago, this team was not in contention for anything. And they have changed it in a hurry. That has a lot of coaches excited 
a lot of people excited yeah. about the college game, quite honestly. Yeah, there's a blueprint there to follow. Portier was in motion. They run it with Hill, brought down by Bentley. Yeah, to, to me it started with Kier Thomas from South Carolina a few years ago, I think Jared Johnson. But when we were at practice last month and watched Keon Coleman, who's not dressed today, we watched him practice, and, and you're saying, wow, that guy's a transfer, but look at him, how, he, how he's setting the tone, setting the tempo for practice, practicing like a pro. You would never have guessed. And what's amazing to me is that Coach Norvell hasn't sacrificed culture in all of the, the transferring and, and bringing in the high-end talent. That's all about identifying the right makeup, yeah. right quit, I mean, the right kind of guy. Third and long, he talked about that extensively. Backside pressure, there's a flag down in the backfield. That's complete to Rodney Hill. Let's see if this stands or not. Holding offense number 63. That penalty is declined. Defense will take the result of the play, fourth down. Here comes the punt unit for the Seminoles. Well, next week for Florida State. We all know what the deal is. Take on those guys from Dade County, Florida, the Miami Hurricanes. It's cats from Coral Gables. Going to be going up to Tallahassee. I think you just saw Jordan, yeah. Jordan Travis over there on the sideline talking to Coach Norvell, pointing down at his, looking at his right leg, his right knee. Don't want to. No. <laughs> don't want to be no. messing around with that right now. Uh, this night has got to be done now. Down to the 22 and a fair catch called by Devonshire. Speaking of Florida State's remaining schedule, Miami at home, North Alabama at home, and then Thanksgiving weekend at Gainesville taking on the, the Gators. Maybe college game day will show up at Tallahassee next week. It's a big time game. Yeah. How about how about that rivalry going all the way back in the years, back in my days in college and after? I mean, such yeah. great history with those two schools going at it with one another. Bayer hands it off. Down to the 28. I think the prevailing thought in game day is either uh, Ole Miss at Georgia or Miami at Florida State. Night games in Tallahassee, uh, they just hit a little differently, Mark. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's the, that's the first thing the fan or the administration down there said when we went down there for the Virginia Tech game. Yeah, this game's going to be great, but man, <laughs> you down here at night. That's going to be Fumbled and scooped up by the Seminoles in the secondary. Brown, Shaheem Brown, scooped up the fumble from Bub Means. And that's really going to do it, probably. Again, it's the physicality that they're yeah. playing with here. This Florida State well, secondary, I think it's Conrad come Hussey who comes in there the with the big hit, number 12. You see it right there, who is someone who the coaching staff, defensive coordinator Adam Fuller, has raved about. The fact that this young man has speed, he hits like a truck. Yeah. And they're just so deep. And again, that, that's another thing that you tip your cap to to everyone involved with putting together the roster at Florida State. Yeah. They have acquired depth, man, and they play 22, 23 guys on the defensive side that they can roll out there. Meanwhile, Tate Rodemaker coming in at quarterback for Jordan Travis taking over. So Feely going in the locker room. Holmes in the backfield. Bell in motion. They'll hand it off to Holmes. Hey, credit to the Seminoles in a game and an evening that could have been a trap game, right? Mm -hmm. You've got a team that's beaten up a little bit, got a lot of question marks in pit, got Miami next week, but they stayed in the moment and handled their business and did it well. Yeah, the leadership from the coaches and from the key players like Jordan Travis himself, it, it won out in the end. Those guys stayed yeah. true to who they are. He said that it was Jordan Travis time. It was time for him to just kind of like really put his imprint on the game. He kind of took over, throwing the football. Second and 13. Holmes 
across the 35. Hey, aerial coverage provided by Goodyear celebrating the challenge of road games everywhere. Are you ready for the road? Goodyear, more driven. Hey, not only do they have Miami, Florida State in Tallahassee next week, college football, Leonard Hamilton and the Seminoles basketball team open up their season Friday against Kennesaw State. Coach Ham going to have another crew ready to go. He and associate head coach Stan Jones. It's kind of, there's, there's a lot of sports on TV right oh, now, yeah. man. A lot of NBA, a lot oh, of college man. football, and NFL. It's a good time for sports fans. Man. And the college football season is really starting to heat up right now with the, the push for the playoffs and every game. Oh, nice catch over the middle, and that's going to be a targeting flag on Stephon Hall. Jacobs got rocked after making the catch over the middle. And that's going to be an easy one to know what the flag was thrown for. Obviously, a targeting. Look for the launch and the crown of the helmet. You can hear it up here the helmet, the helmet. We're on the field an incomplete pass. Personal foul, a top man, defensive receiver, defense, number 25. That plays under further review. In fast motion there in normal speed it didn't even look like he went to hit it looked like he just was running to the play yeah, and sometimes didn't you know, see much of a launch per se mark some, sometimes it's like that sometimes you're not trying to launch and hit you sometimes you are you he's your just there, is on the football yeah, he, i mean but here yeah he's trying to make a tackle you know he's trying to put a hit on him, but again, it's it's just about the aiming points. It's about where. Like, I've been in this situation numerous different times, but, but clearly there's helmet to helmet contact. That sound says it all. Yeah, Lewis, you played that position though. Yeah, I you mean, you can't tell me that in fast real time yeah then look, you're trying to hit the guy in the helmet no you're you're not you're not trying to hit as a matter of fact i understand where he went to hit him the wide receiver was up in the air right as he arrives the wide receiver's coming down yes. out of the air so yes. whereas he would have hit him mid chest now his the wide receiver's helmet comes down to helmet level with him thank you, you. can't adjust in real time that, to that yeah that, that's impossible you can't slow motion really does a disservice yeah to the player that gets called of for course. the penalty because of course it's oh yeah look at that yeah. but when it's happening at warp speed like, there like, are no choices seriously i mean that happens so it happens even faster than you think it happens yeah i mean in real speed there's no way he, you couldn't you couldn't aim to hit a guy in a certain place if you wanted to no really, he, right? he can't he can't he can't change his trajectory right here okay he's thinking if that receiver stays up in the air a little bit longer he hits him maybe mid chest. Right. By rule, number 25 has been disqualified. 15 yard penalty from the previous spot. First down. I understand the intent. I just. Uh... It's the only thing you can do in that kind of situation if you're. You have two choices if you're the DB. Don't try to make a play on the ball. That'll get you on the bench. That's yeah, exactly. <laughs> or you go so low to where like you're aiming for mid calf right at the knee so where when he comes down now you're hitting the mid thigh maybe in the midsection but it's just yeah, yeah. i mean it's so but those, those things happen so yeah. quickly man and yeah. people need to understand and i'm sure people do yeah for young men to have to sit out the next half of yeah, the game that, is that's hard. that's ridiculous on the handoff this is Holmes. first and goal seminoles piling up some style points here 21-yard scamper with 2.05 to go. And it's uh, time to impress the college football playoff committee a little bit here. You see there, Holmes, the depth at the running back position between Toa Feely, Benson, Holmes. You see Rodney Hill just impose his will a couple different times on the DBs of the Pitt Panthers here today. This team's a very resourceful football team. A lot of different ways they can attack you. We've seen it today. The pass by Rodemaker complete to the tight end Morlock. And Morlock is going to gain about two yards on the play. Here's a look at the standings as we take a little inventory. Seminole 6-0. Oh. 
Miami, NC State, Clemson. Boy, the, the other side of that ledger. A little clustered, but Florida State has really discerned itself from the rest of the pack at 6-0. and oh. How about that Louisville team, the lone loss that they have right here in this stadium to these Pitt Panthers. Yeah. And a win for the Seminoles here, and it looks like that's the way it's going to end up. Going to put them in the ACC championship game. It will guarantee them a Time spot on the field for a player injury in the ACC championship game. Well done. Well deserved. Jordan Travis himself a transfer. People forget to mention that that uh, he transferred to Florida State. His brother Devin was a baseball player for the Seminoles and played it. Major League Baseball in the Toronto Blue Jays system. There's a look at his numbers. Because today. the injury was the reason we stopped the clock and it was under one minute and the clock was running. Please subtract 10 seconds from the game clock to 44 seconds. The game clock will start on my signal. Jordan Travis extends that streak of now 21 games, 21 consecutive games with at least one touchdown pass. Yeah. And he's just racking up the records. And records. You saw Casey Roddick, the transfer from Colorado, who jogged off the field, the starting left guard. And you're talking about the transfer portal. It's not just about the perimeter players. As a matter of fact, it's probably more about the big men than ever before. Now, we've seen examples of teams that have been impacted by line of scrimmage negatively and positively. It just it just decimates yeah. you. I mean, yeah. and one of the teams is right here with Pittsburgh.